penitentiary. Yeah, last, I'm, I'm never having a whole lot in that, in that, um... So last night, we're going on robbing street because we're trying to get some long arms, right? And, um... It was myself, it was Charles, Ariel, Bayo, Rebecca. Rebecca finally got her book back, too, as well. It's a huge meta unlock. Bayo showed up. And obviously, him and Cedar were going at it because they, they don't like each other. And they're fighting for Rebecca's love. Uh, anyways... We were running away from the law because they all showed up at Rhodes. I don't know how they all. I don't know how they got there so fast, man. They like they knew where we were going. I don't know how. I don't know how. I want to go back and watch their vod and figure out how they did it, honestly. Because I'm really curious who made that call. It, they um they knew where we we're going right away, and they like um, I was having a standoff with like Benny, Ruth, and uh, uh, Brooks, and then like six salami show up out of nowhere. So I'm like, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Saint Denis, and I totally forgot there's a new rule. There is a new rule. Oh, artwork. I'll check it out in a second. I will, I will. There's a new rule. If you have, if you do any criminal activity in towns, there's no more. There's no more law limit. They can bring as many as they want. And I totally forgot about that. So in that shootout, it was the four of us versus twelve. No, it's unlimited. There's no limit on it. Uh, stoned. It was three inside, one outside. Yeah, that's a new rule. See, so if you're going to do Holt Laws, we can't do it in the city limits. Uh, I got a telegram from Ariel. Ariel came to uh, CD saying she wants to be an outlaw. And she's tired of playing. Uh, she's tired of being on the fence and didn't want to basically always um, be on, on, like, you know, not choosing one side. She wants to take control of her life. Apparently, um... A little gang has been dying now, and she's been looking for something different. And she's realized that, hey, CD is somebody maybe I can, um, you know, team up with, and hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. But, however, we, 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 don't, we don't fully trust Ariel yet. Probably trust Scarlet more than Ariel. Ariel is still somebody we're going to vet out and still ride with, and hopefully she can truly prove herself, right? Because um, we don't know much about her past and her connections. She's also been spotted talking to the um, Italians as well, too. Another, another uh, member of the Champions Club. Hey, chill, chill. He said, hey, CD, thanks to, uh, thanks to today. I'm definitely learning a lot. Sorry I wasn't there to help you during the shootout. I still want to learn. Just let me know if you ever need anything. Thank you. Oh, howdy. Mm. Due for release soon. Cisco. Mm. This one's some Scarlet. Move from Armadillo Heading Thieves. If you need anything, I'll be sleeping in the hostel? What the fuck is a hostel? Is she going to say hotel? Is hostel like a, um, something I'm supposed to know? <coughs> oh, I did kind of. Sorry. I just got triggered by that shootout. I want to try and work on uh, some things tomorrow. Uh... Hostel is in Thieves? What the fuck is a? I don't know what a hostel is. I got to look it up one. What is a hostel? Hostel is a form of low-cost, short-term shared uh, sociable um, lodging where guests can rent a bed. Usually... So it's another word for hotel, basically, right? Hostel is a shitty hotel, yes. That's what I thought. Uh, PD449 is rock for a guy from Strawberry that owes us gems. Even... We need to find this fucker, okay? This guy, okay? So, we, um, we, uh, roll up on this guy named Rockford, okay? He's hunting near Wallace. We roll up on him. 
he sees me. He's pissed because I robbed him two weeks ago of his bull action when he was uh, when he was uh, hunting in bears in Big Valley. So he's like, "Yeah, I'll give you the gems." And um, okay, we're like, "All right, just send me Tilgram and I'll give you the gems. I won't rob the bull action." Then he goes to Strawberry. He sees the law. Tells him we robbed him of his bull action that is fucking yielding. I'm telling you right now, chat, you're about to see a more ruthless CD, okay? I've been trying to slow burn it a little bit, but some people are going to get it because we're definitely asking for it, all right? Rockford's going to get gunned down. He's going to get robbed and gunned down 100%. There's no more work on this guy. He's an absolute scumbag. <coughs> <coughs> Um, we got, um, okay. Man, Scarlet has been doing great. We got MH046, uh, Arizona. That's right. I got her. Okay, she'd be good. And then Henry. Um, can't remember why I had this. This is the guy we met out, out in West. In case I'm not well, me sleep longer. These people are tonight today. Okay. Well, let's, 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 let's get a, let's get a meeting going with Rockford, okay? <sighs> Josie wants to talk. Great. You are around and can meet. FO336. It's it's uh it's really good actually, yeah, kinda. I was also debating on playing on uh TFRP. Not TFRP, sorry, uh TRP. Twitch RP. They reached out and um, apparently had a wipe. They have a really cool system actually on the server where like they um it's almost like a DD, you build a character. It's almost like, like playing RuneScape. It reminds me a lot of RuneScape. Like, you have to like spec into certain things. You level up cooking, crafting, horse taming. It's crazy. It feels like an MMORPG. <coughs> um, should be out soon from Cisco. <sighs> I wonder if the law is showing up or not. Could be a change of pace. I feel like the language bears used it in old times. And no, it cannot. We play in Saint Denis. It's full of French people. So you could play a French person if you want to. In fact, you'd make us more immersive just by talking to us in French. Honestly, you'll be fine. You're you're a, you're a fantastic role player. I've role played with you many years. You'll do just fine. Uh, for me, the beginning was definitely scary because um, I felt out of place. But once you get the hang of it and like start to just do things and talk to people. You'll fit just right in. It's always the beginning, the toughest part. Yo, is when was the word gaslighting invented? Can someone tell me? When was the term gaslighting invented? Nineteen forty four? Really? Infamous play nineteen thirty eight by Papa is in really. So I can't say gaslight in nineteen oh one, huh? I'm waiting on an uh, answer from DOJ on the warrant right now. No updates. Oh, 
Oh, let me see this. Let me see this. Uh, artwork. Hold on. I'm waiting for Law to show up and release me. Artwork, artwork. Make sure you don't join Discord, by the way, chat. If you're not in it, you're missing out. Uh, where is it under? Holy shit, that's amazing. That is amazing. I love it. You invented gaslighting? Ashlyn. Hey, oh, baby girl, please relax. That's not true. I'm nothing but a saint. I'm an absolute angel. Yo, Parsons, you did an amazing job with those um, art, man. I appreciate that. I love this one. Listen. Anybody? Okay, okay. Anybody in the community that does... A uh, piece of art for Red Dead or GTA. Until Christmas, I will um, get you a gift for doing so, okay? Starting today, all right? Starting today. Anybody who does an art piece for Red Dead characters or GTA characters and toss in Discord, I will get you a gift for Christmas. This one's so well done, dude. It's It's so good. I love it. Oh, also, we're going to get a P.O. box for Christmas so we can stream it as well. Uh, I love to see these red boots. Yeah, me too. Oh, I should probably go change, actually. I really want to see the ability to just take the local transport, though. I wish there's a way I can be like, yeah, can I take the local transport and get out of here? That would be nice instead of just constantly waiting or wasting like um, a lot of resources. That means I'm going to get it one for him. He's going to use it. Gosh, why do you think I have a girlfriend, okay? For content. I'm kidding, man. Come on, chat. I already get fucking stalked and attacked all the time on Twitter. I have like three stalkers. I won't stop. Leave me alone. Bro, imagine wanting my life to be entertaining, okay? Who's that bored? Like, you must have nothing in your life going for you. You care about what I do off stream. It's crazy. That to me, that to me like blows my mind that people actually care. And they want to like invest their life into like my relationship and like what I do outside of streaming. When it's like, I wake up, I go to the gym, I eat my meal preps, I get my coffee, I stream, and I go to bed. How big is your donger? Uh, I don't know, actually. 
Not sure. Stalker main account defends you from his other accounts? I know, man. It's like they're having like a mini fucking war. Yeah, like I said, when I see those people, I'm like, okay, this guy needs help. I hope this person gets the help they need. Because clearly they're not okay in the head. And I ignore them. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Well, you're GTA or a streamer, not like a crazy influencer. Or I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like, I can't imagine like what a guy like XUC has every single day, right? A thick boy like you doesn't go to the gym? What? I don't know if that's supposed to be like an insult. But uh, yeah, nice try, man. But I also to Bucky's. I want to go to Bucky's, man. I really do. Yeah. I think some people need to understand that, like, hey, man, I'm not your friend. We're not supposed to be friends. I'm just here to make you laugh. That's it. Whoa, Ashlyn. He's, um, PG stream, please stop. Uh, this just makes a weekly trip to Bucky's, even though it's like 30 minutes away. Why? Like for the food or gas? <laughs> you just friends on me? Well, if you're tier three, I love you. And you're my friend. If you're not tier three, then... What's your name? But I slept one of those, uh, therefore you owe me your life, right? True. Actually, you know what? I'm supposed to uh, devote my life to you now, and I worship everyone in chat. Go on, thank you for five months. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. What if you're a mod? Well, if you're a mod, you get a nice Christmas present, okay? What else do you want? Once I buy my house, I'm going to have a room for my mods to fly in. Pick my prime. Do it, daddy. Hold on, let me change my tier one, two, three. Do it right now. No pussy. No balls. I said. I said. Almost said no pussy. I don't know what that means. No balls. Oh, thank you, to Prime, for one year all year. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Do it, Razor. Come on. Ooh! I just unlocked a new friend. He heard coming with the tier three. Damn! Thank you. Homie. I love you too, Laura. Honestly, you know, I have a problem. I can't game anymore without chat. I legit cannot game anymore. Like when I'm off stream, I have a hard time gaming. Because I like look to my left and there's nothing. Having a chat while role playing or playing anything makes it so much better than anything else. Is the elf on Reddit Andy? Ash. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything.
Uh, I don't think Lolo is coming, chat. I think we're stuck here, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna message the bot and be like, hey, I wish there's a way to um allow criminals to take the local like guard transport, like in roleplay, like walking up to like um a boat and like uh, pressing E or something. The problem is I enjoy doing RDR off stream. It's because it's a lot slower and sometimes I can sit there and not worry about making chat feel entertained. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like whatever I'm streaming, my main focus is making you guys enjoy the stream and obviously role playing, but it's, it's a hard balance. And sometimes I can't focus on making a good RP scene and making chat enjoy it at the same time and getting chat into it. So I'm like, I'm trying to like conjure all this energy back and forth and trying to get things together so they can work and it can get really exhausting too quick. Yeah, Mars, exactly. You know what I'm talking about. RDRP is way slower. I've been doing it for a year now. Most of the time it's like that. Exactly, man. Unless, um, unless it's done in a separate way, right? Also, in this game, if you fuck up, forget something, you have to travel a lot. True. I don't think Law is showing up, man. I think I'm stuck here, man. We watch you throw their point of views anyways. Yeah, and that's why like I feel bad, but like at least you guys look forward to the streams, right? Man, this game is so beautiful though. Holy shit. This game is just so beautiful, man. I should have got myself out of here off stream, man. Fuck chat. Should have got myself off stream here. I don't know why I waited. I think I thought there'd be enough law presence around. I don't see no boat coming this way. No! Oh my fucking god! Yeah. Wait for CD with hair? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the hair to grow back. Don't worry. Surprised there's no guards around. Yeah, artificial. You, you cannot leave uh, prison without uh, being escorted by a guard, by a player. All right. Um. You know what? Since we got time to kill, let's turn this into uh, you know. Let's turn this into um, you know Q and A. I guess is my camera working? Hold on. All right. All right, chat. Ask me anything. Well, uh, well, let's keep it with, within Red Dead, obviously. Well, we'll wait here.
like the idea that guard needs to be uh there Chris Chris uh interaction RP but other problem people in all around to let you out. Yeah, I think it should be an option, right? Can you drop something behind you? No. Not doing that. Chill Kelly? Where is she? Come here, Kelly. Come here. Kelly, come here. Come here. Not moving right now. Ah. Look at my chonkers right here. Look how big this cat is, man. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Look how big she is. She's a big cat. I love you. I remember when Kali she used to be so young. Uh, she used to sit on my lap all the time. I used to game. <laughs> so cute. Okay, now she doesn't want to leave, huh? Does this character say, I'm hot? I should. All right, bye, Kelly. Oh my god, all the hair. I'll blame Ashlyn. What is the name of my cat that I started calling her Mommy? Wait, that was the name of my cat? Then I started calling her Mommy Kitty? Wait, what? What does that mean? You called your cat Mommy Kitty? Why is that? The best part of the stream is gone. Ron is toxic. Yeah, they still, uh, yeah. Look at my keyboard. You guys ready for this? Hold on. Look what my cats have done to my keyboard. It's missing one over here. And it's missing one over... Oh. I can't find the caps. I gotta find a new keyboard now. Well, it's not wrong though. You guys are toxic, man. I can't type on a keyboard anymore. I can't, if it's a one, I gotta like press it really hard. I just put a cold keyboard, not gonna lie. No, I use just clean my keyboard right here. Always, man. Always cleaning. Are you in Cisco ready? No, I'm supposed to get out, actually. My cat is called... Uh, my cat is a Kiliko. So I'd call her Callie. Then she had a litter of cats. So, oh. Man. Can't protect Mini in there, how dare you? Wait, no, but do you play uh, Mini? Ever thought about making a private detective on NoPixel? Um, I play a cop, there's no need. What is or was your most fun reaction in Red Dead? Ooh. Ooh. That's a really good question, man. Hmm. A best? Fun interaction in Red Dead. <sighs> I'm trying to think. Wow. Honestly, the first time I met Big L on Sam. The first time I met Big L on Sam was special. It was extremely special because it was the first time actually being introduced to that character. Sam Bass, my first criminal I got permit. Is the blower rechargeable? So it is actually. Can you spin yourself on Brian so we can get more off duty? Oh, we can. Why don't you? Why don't your character miss? 
But RC Lemon, you're like a very toxic mod, aren't you? I don't whiff my shots, man. I don't. I'm going to be honest right now. I only whiff my shots in the beginning. So, like, um, after, like, the Fort Mercer incident happened, I learned my lesson the hard way, of course. Um, I, I have a new policy now. First 10 minutes of a shootout, I'm not killing anybody. Even if you're out in the open, I'm not killing you, probably. I'm going to, I'm probably going to, unless, like, my whiffs actually hit you. Uh, the spare incident, indeed. Um, now I, like, I'm, like, thinking about, like, missing my shoot at my shots. Because I'm so scared to come off, like, a trial. <laughs> oh, my God. I never thought I'd actually, like, think about that before. Because before, I'm, like... Shoot as a shootout, you shoot, you know, you miss, you miss, you don't, you don't, right? Like, I didn't think about that. Like, I never, never, like, was something in my, in, in like, the thought process when I did shootouts. I mean, GTA, man, like, I love GTA, though, but the shootouts in GTA are dog shit. You saw what happened. Literally got down in one second. One second. Like, where is the fun in that? Am I get promoted now that you whiff? Yeah, so the first 10 minutes, I'm missing shots. And after that, I'm going to start aiming for people's heads, you know? Hey, what up, Glitch? How's it going? How you been? Long time I see. I just care about hitting shots and other people to call lobby. It is, you know, Denty. I would smoke you and COD. Yeah, I got I got really screwed in that shootout, man. I was getting shot through walls. I was getting shot like behind cover. It was bad. All right. Should we shoot him? What do you want to do? Which one is it? They see me. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. You don't have to shoot me. I'll be fine. Please don't shoot me. I don't want to get shot. This is a free man. Oh, God. Oh, easy, easy now. Easy now. Easy now. All right. <clears throat> No need, what no need, to okay. To break in or break out? I'm not trying, trying to break, break out. out. No, what? Uh, my time is up, so I sent a, uh, I, well, they sent a telegram to Allah. Saying I'm due for release, and I've been just waiting, hoping to see the boat. Oh. <sighs> well, we could probably take you. Why don't you send a ain on to the law telling him that we'll handle this inmate? Wait, I've really? I've got a few questions for him. Oh! <laughs> Why you me? In that telegram, you better tell them you're sorry too for wasting their fucking time. Oh, of course. Ha! Jesus. Oh, it's so rough all the time. You mm. see? Inmate. Recently, we had a guard. Oh, God. Why me? <laughs> you were here when, uh... The guard was killed, isn't that right? Uh, I just got to the land when it happened, actually. That doesn't... Does make sense. But you're still a suspect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody... It wasn't me. No, 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 nobody <laughs> confirmed dead until you arrived, Christopher. Well, what can I say? Death follows me everywhere I go. Yeah, you definitely need to take a bath. Did you send the tent? Uh, I'm about to send it right now. Mm. Uh, hurry the fuck up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Telegram sent.
I'm ready. Put your fucking hands up. Has he got anything sharp on him? I can't tell. <laughs> the only sharp thing I have on me is probably these um, hay cubes. Those sharp? Can't be sharp. Uh, I mean, they can't really penetrate skin. Well, I mean, he got some sugar cubes on him, you know, and I bet he's the type that's going to sit there and lick him and lick him together as glue. I, I was going to make a joke, but I don't. I'm going to keep that one to myself. Okay. Yes. You make jokes? Mm-hmm. Really? I'd love to hear one one day. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna keep it to myself. Ah, oh, come on. Where's the fun in that, Booker? Well, you said you couldn't penetrate anybody with a hay bale, but I don't think you can penetrate anything with anything. So. You want to find out? Give me a knife. I'm messing around. I'm messing around. I'm no. I'm messing around. I'm messing around. I'm just. I can shove this bolt action so far up your ass. I know you can. I don't want that today. You're still my little dog. Remember? You want to go for another walk? No, I'm not your dog anymore because uh. Oh, I'm oh. Oh. Do we really? Oh, you're growling. Cause you don't treat your dog well. You're a bad dog owner. <coughs> ah! Ah! Ow! Ow! It's a boat. Hey, we didn't tell you to get on the boat yet. Yes, Mama Booker. No, 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 please, 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 please. It, it was just, it was an outburst. I do apologize. Booker, should we should, should we try that um that thing we were talking about? We can try the thing we were talking about, yeah. What? Ah! Which one? You no, know, if you uh, so, if you stand if you stand here in the middle of the boat. Yeah. And I go, and you use the rope. No, you're not thinking about doing that. You are okay. evil if you. What? You want to drag him behind the boat? Oh yeah, we'll see if we can, you know, stand on his feet. No! This is hell! You know what? On a second thought, no. I'm, I'm going to wait for the law to show up. You know, I'm, I'm going to wait for the... I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait inside Cisco, okay? Oh, wait. missed. I missed. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... Ah! No! He's gonna be fine. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, I can breathe. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Hold on, Booger. Hold on. <laughs> um, you know what? I think we can it in Oh my god, dude, this is impressive. <laughs>
taking me to the swamps where all the alligators are at, huh? No gun, nothing. I can't defend myself. <laughs> Your body mass, Craig. Hey, that's Hold Craig. On. So, if, uh, oh, yeah, I met him before Craig. till now. Craig or Craig? Craig. Craig, okay. Greg. Can I have your gun? No. Well, how am I supposed to uh, walk out of here when I got a bunch of alligators surrounding me? You'll figure it out, inmate. Informer inmate. Future inmate. Mm. Hey, Booker. Thank you for teaching me something new. I appreciate that, alright? Be safe. Yeah. Whatever you say. Uh oh, what was that? I'm gonna try that on, you know what? Padlock, you know what? I hope, I hope that Rockford guy's around. When I take a boat to the Manteca, Manteca the Falls, and I'm gonna use that technique. I'm gonna use that against my uh, enemies. That's why I come to Siska to learn something new. So we can apply it out here. Dragon people unlocked. I had no idea you could do that till now, man. Yeah, no, tell me about it. Heads going. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, I just got released from Cisco. Howdy. Oh, yeah? Who okay. released you? Yeah, who released you? Um, Blessed for Soul. He's like a mother figure. Uh, Booker? Okay. The guards took you out? Yeah, there should have been a telegram sent before we left. I see. All right. Well. Wonderful. Welcome back to the mainland. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to be here. I see that. Sorry there, folks. I hate this city, so I'm going to get out of here. Good luck, y'all. Best right. luck to you, Mr. Yeah, you as well. Wait, did Maxki accept it as a cadet? Oh, hell no. Damn it. Makes our jobs easier, I suppose. All right, I got an update from uh, Crane on my search warrants in GTA. It says, um, we're going to work on it tomorrow to get it dialed in and I can sign it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So tomorrow should be a spicy day in GTA. Damn, dude. Finally did it, man. Finally did it. I'm gonna be gone tomorrow, doesn't matter. The warehouse will be there still, right? Well, hopefully, Jabez knows about Max.
I think the Gisensos will be around today, chat. Perfect opportunity to kidnap me right now. Look at this. No gun. Nothing. No horse. Completely defenseless. Oh, there's a train. What's this? Oh, shit. It's virtual on them. Fuck, dude. Howdy. Let's go. Good, just got a Siska. Wait, 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 this CD? Yeah. yeah, howdy, howdy. You won't believe what the guards did to me. They they threw the rope on me. And then they dragged me through the water as the boat kept going straight. Like I was some sort of fucking fishing pole. Why are you nice and clean now? Yeah. What? Well, they didn't defense was your mouth, man. But I'm hearing I'm hearing that you going over. And you barking like a dog and shit like that, man. Come on, man. What the fuck wrong with you, man? Wait, what? Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. You've been barking like a dog, and nigga had you on a leash and all that shit. That shit true. It's the true. It's true, isn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, man. That's my horse. Get up, look up. Get up. Let me get up. Get up, look up. I ain't fighting a kid. Come on, old man. Get off your horse. No, you'll break my bones. Dude, that's not the only thing I'm gonna break. Good suck, man. All right. All right. You gonna get revenge on Bayo to stomp and throw you around like a bull? I will. The both of you. Okay? <laughs> that was what? fucked up. I didn't do it. Listen. I sir, I, I don't think I met you up. before. What's your name? My name is Marky Fraser, and this is the MF that do not stand for motherfucker. And do stand for D motherfucker, though. And the damn near on that side of motherfucker. Motherfucker. Nice to meet best you, Charles me. Devon. Howdy, Ronnie. How you do? Yeah, hey, you're, you're, you're the best nephew. I am, I am. Listen. Yeah. Uh, listen, in Cisco, they own you, with... okay? There's not listen, much I, I could do. Let me let me tell you something, mate. Let me tell you something, mate. I, I know Cisco like the back of my hand. I'm actually the yard boss over there. I actually served two months in the hole in my last sentence because I murdered somebody with one punch because they challenged me for my yard boss position. <laughs> Does the motherfucker have a new mic? One punch, laid him out. That motherfucker dead. See. Yeah, they, Jesus done opened the clouds. I might give that to Luca right now, actually. Hold on. Well, what the let fuck? Let me tell you something. Jesus done opened the clouds above. Oh, that's Ow! tough. Oh, shit. Man, throw some hands, motherfucker. Throw some hands. No, don't your hands. Come on, old man. Uh, uh. Keep Ooh. going. Ooh, okay. He's got. Oh, I just saw a doll fall out of his pocket. Uh. Yeah, get it, bitch, man. Uh. Oh, show it to me. Show it to me. Is that all you do? Is that all you do? Precious. I'll be careful. Oh. Hi, Benny. Hi. Oh, Benny. CDs on his ass. Uh, over here. I got kicked by a horse. I fell on a plunge. How's your head feeling? Oh God damn! I, 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 I ben, uh, sir, I me. need you to uh, step away from my horse, please. I, 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 Benny. Uh, yes, Benny, sir. I, I need uh, you to step away from my horse. Sir. No, the one thing is signed. I get signed tomorrow. Hey, Benny. Uh, sir, please uh, uh, step away from my horse. Hey, uh, Benny. I need you, uh, sir, please. Uh, go. Your head hurts. Benny, I need you to take me to the stables, Benny. <laughs> Your head That's hurts. Right. My head hurts. Ah, uh, motherfucker does not play fair. He's dirty. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, 
What's going on here? J just need to go to the stables to get my horse. I'll be right. Just stay here. Just stay here for a minute. I'll so, go to the doctor. Why don't you go to the doctor? Yeah. Just need to set the doctor. Just release from Sitsuka. Just, just, just say you're having street brawl. Man, just come back. It's because it's because Luca had it coming. How's your head feeling, by the way? Oh, Yoshi, I can't make it all fish. <laughs> okay. I'm just curious how you're feeling. That's all. Missy, uh -huh. bye. Benny, we ain't got all day, man. Come on. Why does it always have to be? Oh. I'm not much of a fighter with my fists. I could tell. I'm a fighter. You could tell. And a lover at the same time. Shut up, Ronnie. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Just knowing how to block. Yep. Because I have no idea. You don't know how to block? No. He's an old man. What do you expect? I'm surprised you could reload a gun. What the fuck? I was in the military. God damn it. I know how to fucking reload. You're in the military. In the military you don't know how to fight? You can't block a punch? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh. We don't use guns. We don't use our fists. Yes, you do. What do you mean? What do you mean? Someone tried to fist fight me. I just blew the head Joseph, off. You, you don't need what a, happens you don't need if you're both fighting for a weapon? Oh, well, that's good. I pull out my knife and stab the fuck out of them. What if they knock the knife out of your hand? What do you do afterwards? Me, though, that, that doesn't happen. All right. Impossible. Then I strangle them. Right, so it requires you to fight hand to hand, though. Never gonna. Then I snap their neck. Which is also hand to hand. Yep. Yeah, but it doesn't. I don't have to punch or block or anything. You grab their head and twist it. It just pops. Like a beer. Like a bear? No, like a beer. Bear? A bear. 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 No bear. What about a bear? Pops. Pops like a bear, apparently. Like a bear? What do you mean? The fuck is a bear? I feel like we're saying the same thing. I, we ain't saying the same thing. Right, it pops like a bear. Yeah. Why is Josie I, being saying, really nice and she's not having an attitude? What do I mean? I already left yeah. it to get in your ass eight. Yeah. Who is Josie and what have you done with the old one? Alright, she still shoots people. That's true. However, less frequently now. You need to talk to you. I need to talk to you about no, no, something. No, no, no. I need to talk no, to I you. No, I need to talk to you. I already asked first. I actually technically asked you first when I sent you the telegram. Okay. Well, it doesn't count till we meet face to face. I feel like it kind of counts. You are no. face to face right now. Yeah. Wait, what's going on over here? You literally watched it. What do you mean what's going on over here? He probably forgot. By the way. Man, what happened? Uh, Genzos want me, so get ready. That oh, is Listen. what I was going to talk to you about. Listen, motherfucker. They ain't finna touch uh, a hell. Get your ass up. Oh, wait. Ron Parson. Help me up. Get your ass up, you old man. Oh, no, that's get off on your feet. Which one, which one, which one is the CD, Everybody motherfucker, man? You. He's that right was, here. Yeah. What on his ass? Yeah. sounds so much different. They ain't gonna touch the hair on your head, even though you're bald as shit, man. Please. I'm not bald. They shit my head. Oh my God. Does that mean he's still bald, man? No. no. I'm just yeah. head shaving. It counts. It counts. Can we go buy a toupee and just kind of like glue it on top of him? Uh, oh, thank you, Ronnie. I'm good. I'll wait till um it grows out. Maybe a little mustache. Hey, hey, man. Now, hey, man. Old man. hey man, who you bob? I don't think I have that much. Hey man, who who you bobbing, mate? I see that. Sorry. Uh, what are you saying? I said, who you bobble, motherfucker? You probably next. That's what I'm talking about, motherfucker. Now, listen, Where's my dollar? Very, very, very important, very important thing that she's know. Very oh. important rule. Oh, what is that? Right. You can never cheat on your barber. If you cheat on me with another barber, Josie, I'll you find that barber. You're a barber? <laughs> I'm a barber. I'm a, hey, that's, that's a side hustle right there, man. I'm, a, I don't know I'm afraid you might slip up with the scissors and slide me up. Listen, man. If I hate you, then maybe. Do not. Oh, what? I almost did that blue coat fucking guy. Fuck <laughs> blue coat. We see him. We're robbing his ass. I I was in Susika with him. Fuck him. And, he uh, robbed Rick. And he hates your bag. I uh I shot him. Well, I the gun would oh, shoot down. Would you shoot? Why <laughs> well, hate you uh, shoot, Ronnie? A uh, blue coat. 
Really? What has he done to you? Well, he pissed me off in town, so I was gonna rob him, and as I was gonna rob him, uh, he decided to pull a gun with his hands up. And then he came to try and taunt me after I got helped with my feet, but I wasn't disarmed, so I just pissed him off. So he got really brave, he's trying to tell me. What? So he got really brave with you. Yeah. I need a beer, um, so we're gonna stop at the saloon real quick. But, and then, he ended up in Susika with me the other night, and the guards made us do Minion! therapy. Do not throw any Legos! Um, they made me cut his hair, I almost I almost just stabbed him right then and there, but I didn't want to get more time. I thought Blue Coat got banned. Jesus Christ, Ronnie. Fuck that guy! <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Ronnie just did a beer, my book. Please. to stab a man at his, his, at his weakness. Yeah. Why the hey. Oh, I feel like shit. Apparently, it was a man named uh, Pearly who came after you, along with five others. Yeah, I got told about that. Actually, I spoke with Luca. Okay. I talked to Budge Bass briefly. He was in solitary too. So. He's lost his mind yet, or no? No. So, uh, we'll, we'll talk. Let's save it once um, I get my horse. Let's get out of here first. Because I am probably going to get gunned down. I'm looking at you, mate. Why? Who cut in your hair? No one. Oh, yes. See, you need a bobble, motherfucker. I never had a haircut. That's, that's, that's why you got all them split ends on your head. Probably right. Oh, okay, uh, look, did you get a fox shutter? No, I don't have any money. Uh, take me to the stable. <laughs> from from the All right, stable. Well, of course, I'm gonna have to go by the uh, chair. Was that kid? It sounded like him. Nice role playing with the, with the original uh, Sam's Club uh, members, man, back in the day. God, we had so many people back then, right? I think at one point we had like 15 to 20 at least. Some wild days indeed. Roscoe right. still got eight Lancasters that we need. <laughs> Man fucking permed with eight Lancasters in his goddamn storage. R.I.P. Luna. Luna. Don't do it. Don't get them off. Where's Maverick? Right. I got. I know where it is. I just want to meet at Thebes or what? Uh, no, we're there. Uh, a specific spot we left them at on the way here. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yo, what capture card do you use? I used uh, Elgato or Pro something. Pro HD. But they're close by. Close enough at least. I couldn't throw a wooden Legos, no Legos at all. Oh, you're welcome. Honestly, um, I've been wanting to get a better capture card, but I don't think there's anything out there that's pretty good. I don't know, chat, how's like the stream quality right now? Is it good? Look, we got the was back, holy shit. Old boys free, what up hoop man? Look down those see how you been.
me go back to my stash. I just um, need the uh, guns, ammo, all that bullshit. I feel naked right now. It's at uh, Tall Trees near Thieves. We can get that afterwards. Maybe here pro is pretty good. I haven't, I haven't, how much is it? I would love something. I would love like, um, I, I, I can't wait for streaming to get like 4K definition, like 1444. 1444 is, um, oh, 1440, sorry. Is it 1440? What is 4K? In resolution or is that like for actual 4k 4160 what is 1440 it's like what is that 2k oh 2160 is 2k so um motherfucker huh where you from where am i from yeah saint denis saint denis really is that where your barbershop is at? Nah, my barbershop is Blackwater, motherfucker. Oh, perfect. Same okay. Back in my day, where a bunch of bitches went around in suits. You know what I'm saying? People came from the dark. Oh! Like my horse! I see. So, you started um, in San Denis. Why don't you uh, leave go out west of Blackwater? When I was young as hell, shit, man. I started riding with, uh, with a Kettleman gang. Heard about him. You, say, you heard about him? Yeah. But I've been told they're not around no more. Yeah, now nah, they ain't, unfortunately. I like nothing more than, than to see my What happened? Man, shit, a whole lot of shit. A whole After lot of shit? War, we kinda, I don't know. I gotta tell you, for the most of it after that, I was a, I was a sister. How long? I, I guess it kind of just dissolved part of the city. Snake with you. God, fucking game it. But I heard, I heard, uh, I heard, uh, I heard uh, what you call it? Well, you, uh, what's that word for upcoming, uh, youth? Uh, um, youngin? You said what? Youngin? Nah, now you're youngin, man. What you trying to say? Trying to say, yeah, uh, what you call someone that's young but like got got talent? You know what I'm saying? Got talent. What's that word for it? What's that word for that shoe? Uh, seasoned. Nah, seasoned. What? Nah, nah, seasoned. Somebody who's like a, a veteran. You old as shit. Yeah, exactly. You know right. You pussy um, pity. I'll season my fuck. I'm a veteran up in this. Prodigy. 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 Okay, yeah, I got that. There yeah, you yeah. go. Okay, so that's the word for it. God damn, motherfucker. Yeah, I heard, I heard you out here robbing folks left and right. Absolutely. That's how I make a living. Yeah, motherfucker, that's how I want to. That's no, how I've been making a line. living. But that, I want to I want to, I want to rob people with you, too, man. I need Hell money. yeah. We need long arms money. big time right now. Y'all want to stay here or go to Thieves? Because um, I need to grab my Boy, shit anyways. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Who's this? Uh, Henry. Henry. Have we met before? Uh, No. Howdy, Charles Devon. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Originally, Tucson. I see. Oh, is that Arizona, right? Yeah. That's nice. You with the, the Boom Boys? Yep. How you liking it so far? I'm liking it. Keep me busy. Keep me entertained. Mm. And what keeps you entertained? What do you like doing? Not sitting on my ass. Let's see. You like being busy. Amen, oh, uh, hey, Bishop Henry, tell, 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 tell a little bass what you did to Rabbit the other day. I want to do some business sure meeting today. Out of that. I don't, I don't know if, oh, like, if I, we, uh, if I'm giving crumbs, it's worth it. And took her to Annisburg and took a few guns out of the locker. God damn, what y'all get? Uh, shit, bolt action, couple revolvers. Uh, shotgun. Holy shit. Y'all planning on using it or selling it? What you playing with it? I'm not sure. Shotgun, I'm keeping. Just because I've been wanting one. That's the one that the sheriff usually uh, carries around, right? Uh, I think so. The lever action one. 
Got some. I'm not sure. I, I only see. Uh, I think Sheriff Rabbit mm. is the one I see with the. Carry pumps. She's got a pump. Yeah. Oh, the, the pump. That's what I want. I want that shit. pump. Oh, I don't want that pump. It's just good. The level one shit. I've been wanting the pump, but yeah. I... Well, the pump you get from the gunsmith it just doesn't work out very well. I don't like it. But the one that uh, the law has, yeah, that nice. one I want to get my hands on. Can you uh, get out of safes like a trench kind of shotgun? Or I'm not myth? sure. I'm not sure. I think Rick was saying uh, pump action as well. Michael, what kind? Trench shotgun. It's fucking lethal. I think. Josie, you know it's really rude bits. when people are in a circle and you're on your horse, you know, looking down at yeah, us like that. I was gonna think about something. Eat another sandwich. Well, she How needs many to be taller. Than us, so. I know, right? It's like a fucking sick sandwich. Is she sandwich. eating another Wait, one? Wait, hold on. She eating another sandwich? Mm -hmm. Yep. Didn't she eat three in town? It's like, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like oh, she imagining cool. they toes or something. Oh I don't know. Okay. She, she yeah. ate one in Blackwater as well. What is that laugh? <laughs> I see my what, what the you mean? fuck is that laugh? Uh, it's the strangest laugh I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> Look, here we go, man. Hold on. News in the war? No, uh, uh, tomorrow gonna be assigned. Can you go hide behind a bush and do that? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sound like a damn cricket. I need, I don't know. I need to exactly. clean my glasses. One second. <laughs> there we go, they clean as fuck now. There you go, Man, yeah, you don't want those to get foggy. Howdy, <laughs> 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 Maverick. Been walking long? Dang. How's it feel to be out? <laughs> great. Feels great. Honestly, um, we got unlucky. We went into, uh, so, you know the theater in Sydney? We're trying to hold out there, and, um, let me tell you, never again. That place is cursed. I don't think they yeah. finished the construction inside. Sometimes the bullets can go through concrete. Yep, that's what happened to me when I, we had a shootout with the Chinzos there. I was, uh, um, hiding against the wall uh, on the outside, and I took a couple shots in, and then, uh, hid behind the corner for a while, and all of a sudden I get shot through the wall. That's what happened to me. That's exactly how I went down to Weller. Yeah. Same thing what happened to Bale as well. So. The theater what was that? that a theater? Yeah. Yeah. Also, um, apparently, if you commit any crime within uh, city limits, uh, a lot of law will show up, right? You know how we used to uh, being chased by a certain amount of law? Yeah. Well, that's not applied to town limits. The whole entire mm. department will show up. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be doing something in the future. Unless it's a bank robber. Man, man. Yeah, man, man fuck yeah. that noise. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Talk your shit, man. But fuck that numbers. Who cares? Yeah, yeah exactly. Talking about, talking One about can that. say uh, Luca Winsmore is still flanking right now, the law. I am still flanking. <laughs> <laughs> at least I put one down, right? At least I fucking did that. Yeah, at least you did. At least one for one, right? So that's not too bad. Talking yeah. about a uh, bank robbery, some dumbass tried to rob the the Armadillo Bank like an hour and a half, two hours ago. Really? Made away, yeah. Motherfucker made away with some dust and pocket lint. <laughs> <laughs> and some tumbleweed in between, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I want to find out who that is and I want to talk to him because he's just bringing the attention down there that doesn't need to be. Would we. Is it possible for us to. Rob someone robbing a bank or? Oh, she. No, man. I don't think so, man. Okay, I, 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 just I, I, I say just meet with them afterwards. Yeah, One yeah. Quink. you can rob them afterwards. Yeah, it's easy. Because yeah. there's going to be a whole lot of law chasing them anyways, man. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't get involved in that kind of shit. When the law is doing yeah. somebody, let them, let them be, exactly. right? Yeah, there's yeah. time and place for everything. Well, that's going to become a shit show. Yeah. Unless you form a gang and be the vigilantes. Is that if, what you would call oh, the gang? The vigilantes? Like a lot of problems. Man, uh, okay, can, can we agree to vigilantes? Oh, no, my head! Oh, <laughs> 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 I like how everybody just fucking died. God, please, I'm so glad you cannot counter a bank. Countering banks is was you know, on GTA was so awful, dude. God, it was so bad.
And honestly, the fact that you can only rob a bank once every four days allow for room to breathe for other games to do it. I think that's an amazing rule. I love that rule so much that I wish it was applied in no Pixel. It's such a good rule. If you need to spam mechanics every single day to roleplay, then you got a problem. Scott coming to Siska? Well, Tank Girl, honestly, I look forward to going to Siska sometimes because I get to RP with you and I miss roleplaying with you. And on top of it, that, uh, that transport with the rope, I've never seen anything like that before. I was in tears. It was amazing. Thank you so much for doing that to me. Tank Girl, my VIP, you're right now. Let's change that. Nothing will ever beat season one on Sam Bass and visiting Effie and Nash. Uh, something about that was just, I don't know, man. It, just, it was so good. It was so good. You just cannot replicate those memories and times we had. It's just, it was so organic. It was so special. And it was so much just, ah, oh, man, it was just so good. Hope it wasn't too much. No, I, I welcome it. You know me. I love role playing with anything. We're going to be hearing about new form of torture being used by criminals. Yeah, I mean, I've done that before. I made people dance. <clears throat> now I'm going to be uh, tying people up. I want to I wanna tie somebody up like um, Booker did to us. Get a boat from Thieves Landing. Tie them up with a rope. Take them in a boat. Throw them in a rope. Have the, the boat go one. off and Manteca, Manteca Falls and have them die. Not as bad as yours, though. That one was terrible. Jesus nice. Christ. What the hell was that? My head is spinning. Oh, fuck. What the? Man, man, who fought it, man? <laughs> hey, he'll be smelted Delta, right? Nah, nah, nah. See, 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 that don't work. That don't work. Hell no. He probably smelt it and didn't even say shit. That's not true. As soon as you smell shit, you're going to say, what the hell? Why does it smell like shit? Not unless you did it. Mm. That's true. Say shit. If, you did, if you did it, then... Doesn't smell as bad, right? L listen, let me ask you a riddle real quick, okay? I saw this on one of the walls of Siska. Go ahead, Sue. All right. There is a woman in a boat uh -huh. on a lake wearing a is coat. She, is she fine as fuck, though? Hold on a second. Okay, go ahead. If you want to know her name, uh -huh. it's a riddle I just wrote. What is the woman's name? Hold on, say that whole riddle again. I, I was, I was there is a woman as fuck in a boat right. on a lake wearing a coat. Right. If you want to know her name, it's on a riddle I just wrote. What is the woman's name? There's a woman on a boat. On a lake wearing a coat. If you want to know her name, it's on a riddle I just wrote. What is the woman's name? I don't know, Biddle is that shit? I don't fucking know. Come on, it's really simple. Her name is Coat? No. Boat? What? Is it Booker? What? Is it named Boat? What? Big O? What? Blueberry? What is her name? What is her, oh, the woman's fuck. name? Man, her put name this is, motherfucker yeah. back in Sisica, man. Somebody put That's that motherfucker back. I can back up, man. That was, that was, that was, that was it's a riddle, man, motherfucker. It's a riddle, it okay? You're supposed to pay okay. attention. That was a bad riddle, man. You should have known I don't pay attention. Jeez. Oh, try you harder. You wrote that? That was somebody wrote down on the wall of Cisco walls. I saw that. I was like, huh. Interesting. I guess it's been a lot of times. Riddle me this day, motherfucker. Hold on. You ready? All right. If you make a laugh and giggle. Huh? Go ahead, he's supposed to finish the sentence. Nah, he's supposed to finish it. Uh, oh, wait. I get it. I think wait, I know I this one. You know this one. You know this one. I don't know. Uh, wait. Don't know. If, if you, you laugh, you giggle. giggle. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm waiting for your laugh. It's supposed to be easy. If you laugh, right, I giggle? Um. Wasn't it about getting women? 
the, the mother my track there. I don't remember exactly what you said, but I remember Make it. their ass jiggle. Oh yeah, that's the one. Make their ass jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah, if you can make a laugh giggle. You uh, can make that a make their ass jiggle. jiggle. Yeah. I, I, can, I, I can say with confidence. <laughs> No one else would say that other than Maki. Oh. And let me tell you something. Those are words City. I live by now. Yeah, yeah, what's that? that? That's right, Ronnie. That's right, Ronnie. Take your shit, Ronnie. Now let me tell you something, CD. I'ma help you with your woman problem, man. All right? Whoa, 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 Luca, what else have you said? What the fuck have you said to this man so far? What have you told him about me? I said that you get, you, you know, you... He said you're like getting no thing. bitches, man. No, I didn't no, say no, no, I no. said you were getting bitches. Hold on. Mark, he's like, he sounds like he ain't getting bitches. Mm. I'll back a little bit. What'd you say exactly about Rebecca? She's not a bitch. No, I didn't say that. Up, he said, he said Booker. I said Booker. Booker is like a mother figure to me, okay? I call him mama. Oh, I hell no. Oh, no. Yeah. no. CD. CD. We need to work on this, man. We're going to call Booker Mommy. 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 It should not me. be happening, man. Okay, Booker is like, um, I'm like a baby that was in a basket. Listen, I know left in front in of her Lamar door. Right now. I know we in Lamar right now, but you ain't from Lamar, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I'm in Lamar. Lamar, man. You know what, what they do out here in Lamar? No. No, they do. do tell. It's some, 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 it's Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you talking about, uh, uh Butcher's Creek. yeah, it's Butcher Creek. Butcher That's where the inbreds at. Man, I'm Butcher Creek and Lamar, too, so it, it, it tarnishes the night. Are those the motherfuckers that were going to eat, eat if I didn't give them my deer my first week on the crossing? That's too Jesus. much. Those sons of bitches. Trying to get so word, you've called two of my characters in mother now. <laughs> yeah, the one cannibalistic insist in my mother. My horse. How much more fucked can you get as a human? I don't think I think that's pretty much the lowest you can go. Hey, what is wrong with fucking your yeah. cousin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did you make the goddamn CD? You had powers, man. You made all three of them drop at the same time, man. You built different. Wow, what's wrong with that, right? Keeping the family. I don't see the issue what with that whatsoever. Oh my God. What is wrong with that? Tell me. Tell me, okay? Tell me what's wrong with that. What is wrong with you? Part Booker, then I guess, yeah. He does, that's what I'm saying. Oh no, mother's different, okay? You can't come out of the same hole and plug at the same time. Oh, you are so lucky, Josie's not here right now. CD, CD, we gotta work on everything. Speak of the devil, you fucking summoned her. You fucking. We should ask Josie what she thinks of that. We should probably move on. We should probably move on. Josie, what do you think of CD's comment about how uh, how he should always keep it in the family? <laughs> and he said, "What's wrong with fucking your cousin?" <laughs> and he calls Booker mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Oh no. Yeah. You disgust me. This too. Okay. It's not like I, I need your approval. Listen, reaction. I'm a man who is very prideful and comfortable with my own skin. All right. You're comfortable with your family skin too, apparently, motherfucker. That's tough. Like I said, I don't see an issue with it. Doesn't mean I'll do it. Well, yeah, yeah. See, the babies that, that, that come so out, like we'll so see like it. Next thing you know, you in, the, in the bed giving your cousin back shots, motherfucker. Rick. Giving him back shots, man. What is a back shot? Uh -oh. I don't turn my back on family. No. No. <laughs> no, there's, uh, I think seven of us here. <laughs> Oh, there is. Where the hell are we going? Where's my horse? Where's, where's I think my horse uh, got scared when I came back. <laughs> if, uh, any, if any, any uh, law comes, then someone's going to have to break off. Uh, yeah, I can't, seven they're going to they're gonna chase me, though. Yeah, if you're one, we should probably split up, then. Yeah, we could just all meet thieves. Yeah, I'm going to have thieves. I'm going uh, to um. All trees then thieves, I'll be there. Yeah, you two go separate and then we'll meet you guys there. Just in case, just so we don't run into any trouble. Yep. Someone I'll go with them you. just yeah. in case. Uh, Alright, good luck. Right. Where's my horse? Right there. I'm dumb. This is shit. 
Yeah. No. Why do you just be so? Yeah, he put three. Of, he put he put three of us on his on our ass when he said that. All right. You know what, Josie? Uh, why don't you take us back to Thieves Landing? On. He said, wait. Joe, you want to lead the way? Sure, I absolutely know where we are. Okay, great. Just keep following the roof. It's a lake, Marky. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. It's called oh, hell no. Lake, man. Boy, you can say a word. Oh my gosh, she might kill us. It'll be the first time she got us killed. Or attempted to. Not fair. Man, I'm really excited, chat. I'm really excited for the West. Feels like uh, right now we got the momentum going. We need to build it up. We just need to populate different areas of the West. Get civilians out there. Get some business going. The biggest issue right now is long arms, man. We're having, we're having a hard time finding long arms and like robbing people. Nobody carries a long arm anymore. I feel like everybody like stores on their horse, maybe. I don't wanna I don't wanna like pull up people I'm like, you know what? Tell them what's inside your horse saddle, right? Like I don't wanna power game it. I'll catch up in just a minute. Wait, you wanna go to uh tall trees first. Oh Who's that? Oh, was that the uh the pulpit that we met in uh Blackwater earlier? I'm not sure you tell me. Look, Locker. Like rabbit? No, paw pit. No. I just saw the horse. feels different and fresh. Uh, it's because we're starting scratch, right? We're starting like... We also have like a lot of walks of life, you know? It's a really combination of a lot of um, different characters coming together, right? So... Taking Baldur's Crossing. I mean, like that's where that's the direction we're heading. Yeah, probably. Ah, oh, my head. Please tell me y'all know where you're heading to. Yeah. That didn't sound confident, man. I always know where I'm heading to. Yeah, Ronnie, I need you to teach um, Josie how to get around, please. Uh, one, one horse, one on uh, red horse. Let's look at an Arabian, right? No. Turkmen. How the hell do you tell from up here? So, it looks so really small to be Turkmen. Man, man, Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. Whenever somebody asks you that, just saying you build different, man. That's all. That's the only answer you can give me. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Are you sure about that? What if I pluck your eyes out? She told us a story about what happened. Yeah, he wanted me what to happened? help. Help. He wanted to book. Edwin wanted to book. I can't speak. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Oh, let me check the telegrams real quick since we're here. Okay. Oh. Okay, Ronnie. To help him kill Booker. Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, well, I just kind of stubbed my toe really hard to try and get Booker's guard down, and then he attacked her. It didn't work out too well for him. I'm pretty sure he actually got shot. Abigail's, uh... Um, it's Abigail's, um... Telegram. 
Ariel. I should probably tell Ariel we're going to, um... Aurora's gonna be on her way to Atheus' way. Sounds good. Oh, uh, oh, it's right. Aurora's heavily wanted, huh? What's that? You see who? Aurora. Wait, Aurora's around right now? Yeah, yeah. She's just take me, take, take me to go see my sister. She's at uh, the east. Mm -hmm. What's it? What's Abigail's telegram again? I gotta say these telegrams, man. I I just do a poor job. Man, I haven't seen a roar in a long time. Is this it? Sir Edward no. stopped trying to kill Booker. He took out a fishing rod, poked her eye out. There we go. E N Booker. Seven four four. I need I need to work on the contacts. All right, like so it's easier. Abigail's Romano as well, too. Yeah, we ran into her earlier. Mm -hmm. The West and a pop off tonight. All right. <clears throat> Go. <laughs> Thanks for being a test subject for the bow idea. Yo, one back. So, how do you come up with these ideas, man? God dang. You must have an evil what? mind. Slow down. We got places to be and people to see. Not wrong about that. Wait, so Ronnie, how much time is against this guy in total? 440 days. That's not too bad. No, I guess not. I just got out today. Yeah, same here. You know that. I don't know why I said same here, but yeah. Yeah. That's why you showed up to send to me, right? Yep, that was the whole reason we went down there. <laughs> I knew that. I was making sure that you're paying attention, that's all. Yep. Is it actually a first assumption? A fair assumption? Yeah, because it teaches me how you come up with these ideas, man. Uh, go left, go through uh, bla uh, tall trees. I gotta move my, um, I gotta move my stash from... Tall trees to uh, thieves. Actually, no, that's a bad idea because law knows being out in thieves, I should probably not keep it in the same location. I'm gonna need my bed. Mine's up here, Riggs. Where I took a shit the other day. Sorry, what? Yeah, I remember the other day when we had to look at the shoot up briefly? That's where my stash is. Bye, Riggs. Don't you remember? I thought you said this bird took a shit. I oh, did. Oh, this bird took a shit. Yes, I did say that. I swear. Okay. Shit. <laughs> okay. I have a, a revolver belongs to the law, man. I definitely don't want to use that gun, huh? Or should I actually? What? How much time you get for having a law gun? I think they upped it now. It's definitely more time. I'm not sure if I want to use it or not. Bear. Black bear, black bear. Good. Expect the brown bear should be on the left over here, though. Be careful. All right. All right. Going to that uh, cabin. A horse? Hello? What's going on? I'm not sure. Horse 3 was acting up. Oh, I hear a bear. Intersection. That bear wanted blood. I 
I want to get some tomahawks. And I want to I want to rob the YPD as well. I want to like make so many enemies on CD, where the whole cross wants to come after this kid. Have my uncle save me. Fuck sec, we're on the corner with dried meat. Really, huh? Got some food here. Um. Shit. Guys, only have Litchfield and and this and, and Schofield. Probably get rid of my bars. I got two bull actions. I might just use the bolt action, honestly. Oh, any bears show up? I'm gonna get fucked. Yeah, my bolty. I got a lich field, but uh, some of them I'm holding on to for a bargain. Because um, the folks I robbed the lich field off of, they want to they want it back in exchange for like two Lancasters. So I was like, all right, deal. Say that. So that's a nice deal right there. Yeah, well, I like to do sometimes. Yeah. What are you saying, Ronnie? Sorry, I interrupt you. Uh, I was talking to Josie about roots. I hope that right. Ruth guy drops dead tomorrow. Wow. Actually, no, I want Kennedy to die first. Then Rip. Then Brooks. Then Maple. And then Ruth. Man, let me tell you something about <laughs> Ruth. Alright. I went on cop. List. I went on cop for a long -air time. I got so bored to the point I just walked into the city hoping somebody would chase me. Only motherfucker on duty was Ruth. In his in his bartender uniform, that was the first. He, he got he, he became a deputy like two hours. I remember since this that story. I remember you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pull up. He's like, you know you want. I'm like, damn straight. He's like, what you doing out here? I'm like, hey motherfucker, I want somebody to chase me. So he went ahead and he and, and he chased me in his apron and all that shit. Eventually he caught up to me for the only one reason, cause I stumbled on a rock and fell over. Why? Cause his horse scared my horse and my horse went into a rock and flew me like five feet in the air. I almost snapped my neck, motherfucker. <laughs> and this motherfucker caught me. Holy so I shit. I hate Ruth since that day. I don't want to beat Ruth Dang. Yeah, I don't blame you, okay? Such an arrogant son of a bitch. I hate him. I hate him too. <laughs> Hold on. I want to stand that motherfucker neck. I want to trample him on my horse, as a matter of fact. Just mm. poetic justice. You know what you should do? You should what? wear an apron next time you see him. You know what? And then try to tie him up. I, sh I should wear my barber outfit. They got like a like a barber apron. Exactly. You're gonna kidnap him and bring him to the barber shop and give him an actual cut. How you how you how you like getting yo, you know what I'm saying? Humiliated with an apron on, man. Or I have this new strategy against the law. It's more effective than any bullets that can possibly rain, okay? It's hellfire. Hellfire. You ready for it? It's a strategy that has worked. And we'll continue to work every single time. Okay. Hit me, File a complaint. File a complaint? I'm telling you, it works. You file a complaint. So you say, I should file a complaint. Abs you see a sheriff and there's a lawman, um, you know, acting unprofessional, or maybe drinking the job. Just go file a complaint. You don't care at the end of the day, right? You know what? I can it's just to get under the skin. I could be like, man, between you and me, she, I saw Ruth and these Nanny trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to mingle with outlaws and shit like Ooh, that. Ooh, yeah, just make sure it's legit. Make sure it's legit. Because if you start filing complaints not legit, I'll just ignore you, right? Exactly. Some of my complaints are legit. The problem is, obviously, I over exaggerate the truth sometimes. I could pay some actors. Pretend to be outlaws and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, you can. This man Ruth, he was tired. I'm telling you, it's hellfire to a law. I, I'm telling you, it's better than any bullet you could probably discharge from your revolver. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll up the, uh, the, the, the complaint section, but... That was good. Hi. Oh. Not, not too much has changed. Oh, How are you? I'm gonna get the whole entire cross in the fire complaints mm. left and right. Where'd you come from, motherfucker? I missed you. I have missed you. What's good, sister? Come here. Oh god. Marky. It's been a long time. I know. Best believe. Oh my god. And your hair is grown. Look at that. Yeah. Um, I, I'm very wanted. I just kidnapped Kramer. That's you know, happened. Holy shit! Hey, come this way. Come this way. Hit your horses. Come this way. Josie, hit your horse. Get down off your horse. What's that? Get down off your horse. Say nasty. Yeah, do it. I'm Don't do it. Got fucked. How many people this can handle? 160. Hey, how's it going, Ray? Uh, how long have you been doing Reddit RP for? How long have you been playing Reddit RP? Since April, right? My favorite spot right here. How you been? So, um, the talk with the big L, how'd it go? It didn't really go. The uh, first offer he put on the table was that he will let him out of solitary so long as I never go back to Siska, period. And that is just not realistic. Okay, so that's I'm my couch, gonna... so back off, thank you. It's not your couch. It's my sofa. It's not your... <laughs> Don't sit down next to me. Mm-hmm. That is my sofa. I need you to get up. It's my catch now. You're lucky I don't have a roof. Okay. Unfortunately, the So you're day telling day. me you basically went to Cisco for nothing? No, I opened the dialogue, which unfortunately is probably the best we're going to get right now with Big Ale. He is thinking about it. He knows how to get in contact with me and... Gonna go from there. Yeah, but the deal was that you don't go back to Siska. My uncle's in Canada's solitary time. We know it's not possible, okay? I know, and I told him that I was not striking that deal, so he would uh, come up with something. We left our conversation that he's going to uh, figure something out. Mm. Okay, do you feel do you feel confident he's going to figure something out, or maybe he's brushing you off? Maybe he'll forget about it. He'll come up with something, I'm sure. All right. well, I hope so. I mean, it's not gonna be in my favor, but hell, I was already willing to uh, trade places with him. I'm not too concerned about all that. Okay. Well, um, I think my uncle comes out what tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow, right? Is it tomorrow or tonight? I forgot. It might be late tonight, but he's probably won't actually be around till tomorrow. Most likely, so. Um, in the meantime, I've been really busy. Very busy, and I've been building the Western Thieves. We've got six, seven people that are working really hard, getting connections, working on things we talked about, trying to get some guns going, trying to buy some gems. Uh, we got a couple of crates of moonshine ready for transport, so all that's yeah, playing so far. How's that Scarlet working out for you? Uh, she's doing well. She actually has proved herself pretty well so far. Uh, she's been excellent. So is uh, Ariel. Ariel. Have anybody been in Ariel before? I I yeah, I know Ariel pretty well. Yeah, I know okay. Ariel too. Tell me more about her. Do you trust her? Trust her? Yeah. I mean, I never, I never had a Oof. reason not to trust her. Okay. Uh, what about you, Aurora? 
She's always been fine. I don't know. Her tone seems... Oh. Really, CD? My couch now. Ow! Ow! Oh, get get yeah, out of my couch! Fight, 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 fight. My fucking couch! That's what you deserve. Don't sit down. Okay, it's my sofa now. What are y'all falling in? You know what I mean? Why don't you just share it? There's enough room I'm not room sharing room. a sofa with Josie. What do you have against Josie? I thought you guys yeah, got along. She pisses me off against? every single time. What'd I do? Listen, I have you an exist. announcement to make. I have an announcement to make. Josie like toes, man. Oh, Josie. Toes. I don't... Uh, Abigail, can you sit next to her? Uh, yeah. So, uh, Aurora, uh, yes, I have actually building an army. An army? The West is ready to be flourish and nourish mm -hmm. and to come back from its, um, no. dark ages. And now we're going to move into the golden ages. Come back to its former glory. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Glory, fame, and immortality is what we seek around here, okay? And it'll happen. Obviously, mm -hmm. it comes with a cost and a price. There's going to be a lot of blood and sweat and tears being sacrificed. For all that to happen. That's where y'all come in. Alright. Now, uh, Aurora, you said you met Ariel before. How long have you known her for? Mm, known her for quite a while. Okay. A few months. Do you trust her? Superficially, I don't know her super deep. I don't know how much I trust her with lots of information or things. All right. How would you feel if you start working on thieves? I think that's a perfect starting point for someone like her. Okay, perfect. Um, I got her in Scarlet right now working on thieves so far. Um, what are they doing? Uh, well, they've been uh, helping with the, with the shine, been helping with getting gems and the long arms. That's what they're working on with me right now. Have we started getting more people down here buying and selling? I have not. We've been low on long arms. Okay. I mean, um, yesterday, uh, nobody's here from the group I was part of. Yesterday, we went around looking for people, and all we can find is revolvers, cattlemen, and navy. Well, Schofield, I should say, navy and cattlemen. Nobody's carrying a long arm. However, we came across a person that had a bull action. And you remember that man that came up here to the tent in Thieves, Beyond Thieves? It was you, me, and Scarlet Aurora? Yeah, yeah. Headlock, whatever his name is, right? Yeah. So this son of a bitch, we, we walk up to him while he's hunting because he's shooting multiple shots near Wallace. We're like, what the hell is going on, okay? So we get there. We surround him. We see him with the bull action. I tell myself, oh, shit, here we go again. He gets very lippy and gives an attitude. And I said, okay. Well, you have two options here. What's your one? You'll give me that bolt action. We can go our separate ways. Or option two. You uh, send me a telegram with uh, enough gems worthy of the bolt action. He picked option two. He um, follows us to Strawberry. And when we get back to Strawberry, he walks up to a lawman and tells him we robbed him. Which we never did. Or we're going to, but we never did. And then we almost get charged for that bullshit. So, for that, for him to agree to something have a deal in place and turn around and tell the law what happened exactly he's gonna pay the price so if y'all see him i want him tied on a boat and send off them in Tekka falls who is it some asshole that, that basically hunts out in big valley so a good spot i've been wanting to torture people by quaker's cove if you drop somebody off the northeasternmost dock they can't swim. The current's really? too strong, and they just t get taken downstream. They can't even really stream. Take yeah. oh, there's, there's rocks there, home. Huh? Listen. Oh yeah, it's a Booker bad taught me new technique. You okay. Mess with somebody, grab the lasso, pull them on. You can mm. mess with somebody hard there. You want to get some information on somebody? Take a rope. Have somebody get a steamboat. Uh, drive the steamboat while that person is being tied by their legs and pull them through the water. Mm. Ooh. I actually need to have a little bit of these lock comes. What did she say? We gotta get a boat ready in case the law comes. Okay. Well, it's more. Josie, what are you saying? 
I asked if you were speaking from experience. Oh, huh? what does that mean? He told us. What are you guys doing? Oh. Who's it? I don't know. Fucking threw me off for a second. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Like don't do hat? that. Yeah, 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 I can't. I Howdy, Ariel. My, my heart um, kind of stopped for a second. Scarlet yesterday, she <laughs> went mining, and <laughs> then um, she said if she didn't telegram me, she'd probably be dead by now. So I'm, I'm probably going to send, like, something to Rangers or something. I don't know. I think she's dead. She's okay or not. I got a telegram Maybe. from her at some point yesterday, I think. She is sick. She's battling sickness, so I'm going to be it. Yeah. Yeah, and her she time must have come. She stayed up her real late last night, yeah. Holy shit. See, Aurora, I told you we can get thieves popping. I know. I told you it was possible. Yeah. You just left me. Is wow. that Abigail? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, while uh, you guys That's left, it. I got pushed off a bridge <laughs> and cracked my head open. What? Wait, what? How? Yeah. Well, how, do you do, how do you do that? How do you do that? We were talking on a bridge and some lady yeah. wasn't paying attention oh, and, and comes rides right into him, launching him off his horse off the bridge. Nah, that is too much. Wondering what took you guys so long? But she ended up being a doctor, so that kind of worked out. Here, she wrapped my head up. <laughs> also, Ariel, is that you? Oh my god, is that Marquis? Being straight, the one and only. How you doing, Ariel? Hello. You you staying in the Yo, hole? Yo, should I start right now, Chuck? Should I start? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was in the hole should for like I, the I last store? two months of my stay because I murdered a man with one punch. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. What's up, Cohen and One Punch Man? Yeah. I was right. just thinking. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I like that nice. nice stick. I like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, well, you're not a One Punch Man if you just only kill one person with one punch. So I have to kill somebody else with, a, with one punch, too. Probably. Uh, who wants to volunteer? No, thank you. Mm, I got a couple years of me left, so wait until afterwards. Let's try the lumber yard in um, Blackwater. They're like fighting there. Probably See, I, do good. I mean, since I came back, I had a few fist fights. And oh. Best believe I still got it. There's Josie. Yeah, hey, uh, Marquis, don't you have a son? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Moon Fraser. Where's he been? Out the crossing right now. Well, you know. Heard about him, that's all, when I was going out west. Yeah, he was running the saloon over there. That's what I got told. I went and talked to him, see what's going on. About what? Oh, just uh, what we're trying to do. Um, I mean, we got most of us out here from the west, right? City. Which, like I was telling you, we're trying to bring it back. We're trying to bring that glory and the fame it had. And it's, um, you know, greatest height, right? So we're trying to bring that back a little bit. However, it comes with, um, you know, talking to people and communication. And if we don't get up in the same page, one do the same thing, then obviously conflict will rise. Right now, that's the last thing we want. Hey, Marquis, what do you know about the Del Lobos? The Del Lobos? Their back supposedly taken over. Man, I'll, I'll, from that's what I heard, insane. it's just three people. So they ain't finna do shit. I'm not two of them, actually. Oh, I met a guy today. His name was, I think, Rio. That is a Del Lobo, yes. Yeah, that's him. That's it's one of them. Casper. He said he, he said he kidnapped somebody from Valentine today. Really? Mm -hmm. Who was? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really ask him too many questions. Didn't seem like the kind of guy who liked to answer them. Yeah, they're very uh, reserved in the way they talk. Right. They're definitely very reserved. And there's there's another fact. I mean, they're coming over here and they think that they could take over the West just like that. No contribution. No none. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, so they told me the story about the mines and how the Taipan actually has connection with the mine. Apparently, the Gap Tooth Ridge Mine used to belong to the Sanchez family, who uh, passed away and then passed it on to a different family within the Delobos, and then Delobos made a deal with the Taipan a long time ago to allow him to go out there and um, use the mine in exchange for a tax amount, right? But after a while, and uh, the relationship that was formed, apparently that taxation was removed from the Taipan, and now the Taipan is applying taxation to other people. Sir, I need going to be applied. Yeah, um, we're going to be dealing with the Taipan pretty soon here. Uh... They uh, actually fucked us over a while ago, and we just been waiting for the right opportunity to deal with this. Um, we're gonna be having a little talk with them about that tax thing, because they 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 shouldn't be taxing or they shouldn't be uh, mining in our mines and taking everything out east. I mean, that's exactly what they're doing. They got Wayne Industries going out there and just grabbing every single fucking gem possible. They have. Yeah, um... so Go ahead. 
Oh, so I was gonna say our, our boys are, are willing. We're willing to go into war with them over this. I know it's something we all needed to talk about with y'all. We're, we're just gonna take care of that. Is and we heard uh, with all the Chinzos that you you boys would be taking care of that if uh, they start riling shit up with the, the West. Yeah, where did Josie go? Cause um, she was telling me she know more information about that. Apparently, six of the Chinzos came out west looking for me. Oh. Because um, y'all right? Yeah, I just stepped back and fell. It happens. Uh, I think she's behind you up on the boxes, though. No, that's Aurora. Yeah, it's Josie Aurora. Was, yeah. I think Josie, Josie just kind of... went to get the boat, and then... No, no, I'm Josie just kind of, I think, had to lay her head down really, really quickly. So yeah. Uh, she had a right. headache. Yeah. That happens. Um, so, apparently looking for me because I robbed one of her own, uh, named Sissy. A girl named Sissy. But at first, she lied to me. She said her name was in Angela. Or some shit like that. I forgot what she said her name was, but she told me she rides with nobody. She's, um, a, you know, she's by herself. Um, she had a, a husband that she recently divorced. That's why he had that gun. And um, next time we saw it was me and Scarlett and Sandy. Uh, and then she finally told me her name. And because she lied, I took her Navy revolver and we left. And ever since then, they've been looking for me. I'm curious why she lied, dude. It's what the Chinos always do. They, I'm they not sure. never admit who they are. Which I don't understand. Oh, Wouldn't it be the opposite? Because you want people to know who you are. Exactly. Oh, Ariel was saying, sorry, good. Carlo. Carlo did the same to me. Because I knew when he started around the crossing, I've uh, messed him a long I while mean, ago when I was still Daniels, working in basically. Valentine Saloon. And um, he, he said he was trying to be with the Dicenzos. And then when I met him um, like last week, he wasn't. Uh, I asked him if, you know, whatever came to that. And he said, oh, you know, um, business got booming. So I never really pursued that. Yeah, he like tried that. to lie to me about being a Dicenzo a while back when I was looking into some things. And uh, I got him to admit that he was. Yeah, Wait, we, how'd uh, you do that? Because, um... Talking to him? See, what, just slipped up or what happened exactly? I was talking to him about, like, staying at the house, what he likes about it. And he admitted he stays there. It was a see. while ago, I can't remember. The How call. big is her family? Because I don't know much about them. There's quite a bit. Um, I think there's a lot of them. You want me to name them? I can name them. Uh, I mean, give me the people that matter. Cesari and Sonny, the two brothers. They're the leaders of the family. Then there's Oliver, who's a giant piece of shit. Sloane, who used to be part of KG, that likes to tear gangs apart from the inside. So who knows how much <laughs> longer the Dishenzos are going to last if she's there anyway. <laughs> There's a fake. Um, Wait, she should be. She should run with y'all and then left yeah, and join them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that must be a really spicy side. story. Oh yeah. Um. Ooh. There is Effie Parker, Pearly. Pearly's another big one. You'll see out. Yeah, I'm at Pearly at the Rose Hunter ticker. What's there? Yeah, Scarfo now. is. I don't know. I'd say out of all of them, he's the most tactically sound. He would sneak into Armadillo when nobody was paying attention to attack. The rest of I, them were obvious. I think I think Scarpo was there for most of the uh, yeah. most of the tests, right? Most yeah. of the attacks, yeah. And who's Scarpo? Uh, he's just another one of them. He usually Mike, wears a met a Mikey. That's what I meant at the Rhodes and Pearl. That was two I met. Uh, yeah, Mikey. Mikey has glasses. He's the one that Jack attacked in Saint Denis. When the war started, Oliver was the one Mills attacked. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Uh, Is there an older one with white hair? That's Tony Salerno. Okay, him he and uh. He sells um wine. He is a Dicenzo. Yeah. Yes, he is. Sells wine. Because okay. nice. uh, Carlo, we found on the trail and uh took his guns, and I said, "Are you a Dicenzo? Because if so, you can keep your guns." He said, "No, I'm not a Dicenzo." And uh. Later, later on, him and that Tony fella found me in Saint Denis by myself, held me up and beat my ass, and took a, uh, took the weapons back, and still wouldn't even say they were the Chinzos. I wouldn't admit it until I said, uh, said, said something. I'm like, well, that sounds like something that Dick Cheese would say, and that didn't rub them the right way. So then there's Amadeo and his girlfriend. Betty. That is they were too supposed funny. To get married during the war. I don't know if they ever did. Um, they, Amadeo said he's. Him and Betty are not staying with the family anymore, whatever that means. Uh, then there's Winchester. He's kind of around here or there. He's kind of British. Is, um, is it Omar um, um, Marta? Or what, what is the, the code they live by? I forgot what it's called. Is there an Angela? 
And Angelo is Oliver's. Is there an Angela though? Angela? Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so she definitely lied. Yeah, nah, it's a made up name, Sissy. man. Sissy is definitely Zip and Sissy Marta? had a relationship, not dating relationship. Oh, but yeah, a I remember that shit. And yeah. In the middle of the fight, he ended up shooting her in the head on a boat, put her in a coma. Oh. That big deal, were you were there uh, when that happened? No. What was that? I was asking I... Abigail if she was there when it happened. No, no, I wasn't there. He told me about it after. He was alone. That was right after they had grabbed me and brought me to Emerald and. Was took that out when my he was trying to me. kidnap a bunch of medics to try and treat her? I don't know. Mm. Mm. He did end up. Yeah, mm. things got complicated there, but it's all good. Yeah, I mean, if they want to start a war or a robbery, by all means. I know my uncle's got some sort of um, history with them, so it is what it is. You know, if history's going to repeat itself again, so be it. In. Man, it is what it Dominic is. Dominic is a piece of shit that comes out of nowhere and took my eye. Well, Dom has been uh, um, coming to Blackwater, him and Carla more often, and a, and yeah, a fellow yeah. named Jilly with blonde hair. I've seen him at least twice now in Blackwater. And that's, we got to make sure we get that information to Jubass, because I know he wants Carla. Why did you want Carlo? Some things happened. Aurora, you gotta tell me. Why are you hiding shit from me? I'm not. Yes, you are. Your yes, you are. Tell you. I want to hear from not you. Every story is mine to tell. Well, apparently you know what's going on, so just say it. I do. Okay, then what tell I me. Do, I gather information. Okay, well, if you're good at gathering information, Carlo you're, you're better at sharing it, right? Uncle. And your uncle wants some payback. What happened? Why do you think he only has one eye? So it was Carlo who took it, but why? That one's better left to your uncle to tell. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. What if I walk up to him and says, fuck off, kid? Sure Deal with be. it like that. You don't have to fight other people's battles. Fight it when you want it. Right, so you shouldn't take shit from nobody. The motherfucker said, "Be the kid." Just put a bullet in the head. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But right now, the most important thing is building the West and getting folks out here. We got plenty of people working McFarland's range. We got Philo, um, apparently a doctor by the name of uh, Lark. Also, Miss McFarland, MJ. Wait, 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 wait. Charlie. Lark is working the ranch. She is. She stopped being a medical doctor and is working at McFarland's. Yes. All right, so something to know about Lark. I trust Lark. I want to start with that. But she is dating Weller. But there has been times where she has met us and not... Law hasn't came after us. So she should be trusted, right? Like, um, I think so, yes. Mm. I have a really good relationship with her. We could use somebody who's uh, we got in contact in the West as far as she a doctor. She also lives with Kramer. What? Wait, she lives with Kramer, but is with Weller? I, knew. I haven't seen them in a while. I, what honestly, the hell I do is this? Wait, she's she close to Weller? She's she's dating Weller, yeah. but she's living with Kramer. Well, <laughs> Can we wait, really trust wait, her then? They, what? Yes, I would say trust her. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you sure? Hold on, yes. hold on. Hold on, so she dating Weller, but she living with another man? Weller lives there too. All three of them live together. Okay. <laughs> what, what? Uh, so hold on. What's going on between the three of them? Some questions are probably left better unanswered. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let my imagination do uh, all I, the thinking. You gonna let your imagination? It's a complicated story. I don't know if there's a lot of complications to it. No, well, I guess you play a game called Marta. Marta. Hey, you ain't get none, man. You ain't get none of it. Hey, see, I told you they got freaky people in the law department. You That's all don't believe fake. me. That's a fake. It in the family, I suppose. I mean, shit. Once they start using <laughs> handcuffs, oh god. <laughs> Wow. I wonder who uh, plays the role of the criminal. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All I'm going to say is, Weller might be the one that likes getting handcuffed, man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I've seen them together. Did you see him specifically get handcuffed? I could see she has control of that situation 100%. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Alright, okay, so we can trust Lark. Uh, what about Philo? If 
Farmer. I don't know that person. Okay. Um, MJ, Miss McFarlane. I don't know her very well. Had a few run-ins. Not somebody I'm super familiar with. She wears a pink corset, which I wasn't super happy about. Oh, yeah, we ran into it. We we thought it was you for a second. And she was very frustrated that we Let's, called her Aurora. Yeah, she, Let's she's got yeah, big arms. That. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. She's got big arms. Man, man, she got big old titties, man. Let me tell you something, <laughs> man. Let me tell you something. I, I'm going to say it like this. Before, before Aurora put on a shirt or anything like that, we never seen Aurora's face before that. I, I, I never knew what Aurora looked like until she put on a jacket. I told you, CD. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lord. Really? Wow. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. I had this with CD the other day and he didn't yeah, we're talking about that. I didn't believe it till now. Well, there you go. No, no, nobody actually knew what Aurora looked like. That's how she was able to sneak around. She just put a jacket on. Huh. The only reason I'm very wanted is the only reason I'm not in my corset at the moment. MJ has a son. Has a son? Please. Really? Teddy McFarlane. I don't think I met a Teddy before, so. Anybody ever met a Teddy? He's a, he just came back recently. He left the crossing for a while. I'm gay? Congrats. I'm really happy for you. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, out in Armadillo, do we know anybody um, hanging out there or using Armadillo at all? I'm just trying to go down the list right now, that's all. Not, not really. I, I saw quite a few people uh, in white shirts over there in Armadillo earlier today. Probably but... a phone. Those were Law. Law was down there today. Really? So Law has been coming out west very, very often, and I don't Someone like was it. trying to rob the bank. That's why they I were down there. I think it was Ten Ton Gang. That's I... why there was what something going on. Ten Ton Gang. Ten Ton Gang. Who told me Ten Ton Gang killed Boyd? Was it Luca? There's like a fly spec. Told me that information. Um, God, I don't remember. Fly spec. Oh, I met that happened. motherfucker in yeah. Siska. When I, uh, you know, that little farm that you got to pass through to get to Tumbleweed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, passing through there yesterday, so I looked back and there's two people up on the cliff watching um, me for about 10 minutes. Huh. So they're a new gang, Boxy, huh? Yeah. Last wait, 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 wait. Boxy was staying at that place with Marcus, but I don't know if they still are. Wait, what location one more time? That Sorry. That was a long time ago, though. Yeah. What was, was that CD? What location are you talking about? Henry? You know, the, uh, on your way the to little Tumbleweed. ranch that's surrounded by walls it has three entrances. Yeah, it's all surrounded by the cliffs. You pass it right. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. The one right in the smack in the middle, right? Tumbleweed. There's yeah. Two yeah. People up on the cliffs. Some guy in a nice sure white shirt with a beard, and the lady I couldn't really tell it was darker brown outfit. Yeah. What happened to Vesper, John? Kind of nice, but oh, they just want? stared at me. I stared at them, and then I flipped them off. <laughs> See, okay. So Armadillo was not sure exactly. Uh, Ten Ton Gang. Somebody told me they got to show up with the law in Armadillo. I forgot who it was. Look, was it you? I just said it like 30 seconds. <laughs> they got in a shootout with the law? Yeah, I think somebody died actually. Who? Boyd. Boyd Kerrigan. Boyd? And he's dead. Yeah. Oh, so that's how we died? I, I, heard, I heard from uh, uh, people yeah. pick me up and say that he was a good one. He was the only one willing to give me some time off. Everybody else gave me the max he time. He wasn't fun when we kidnapped him for the bachelorette party. I'll just say that. Y'all kidnapped him for the bachelorette party? We kidnapped Boyd, Kramer, Maple, and Hurst. Man, I can't believe I missed the wedding. And Alice when she was hella one. <laughs> oh, that would have been so much fun. I missed them in one hell of a wedding. We fought them in the pits on the canyon. Hopefully Vesper's okay, Chad. Uh, oh, come another back. thing that we need to be uh, talking about. Winsmore and I met a lady in the mines the other day who was new, and uh, we were talking to her about buying gems. But yeah, then, Little uh, Bass just met her as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, I met her. Yeah. She met her. said she's starting a gang, but she's trying to go out of rat skiller. Well, um, mm -hmm. that's not going to work out well for her because the Lobos, they want to claim Rat Skeller 4. Rat they said they don't want to go down to Fort Mercer no more because um, there's been a lot of defeats. In their history when it, when it comes to Fort Mercer so they don't want to go down that legacy again and um, try to um, repeat the history that happened uh, you know once upon a time so they try a new location out west and um, they plan on being very loud pretty soon and letting the whole crossing are around well they need to talk to us because Ratsko is in our territory I uh, they mentioned something about talking to you and uh, they want to talk to actually uh, Luca or you Luca, Lucas KG. Right, Lucas. Sorry, old okay. man right here to my left. 
Uh, that was that was you saying that was the Amber Lady or that was that the was the Lobos. Lobos. That was Rio and one more. I forgot what was his name. Or two Casper. Of them. I'm not. Maybe it was Casper. Yeah, he sounded uh, Hispanic. So I'm not sure if that's him or not. Casper's blonde. No, it's not Casper. He had uh, black hair, a black mustache, and a did poncho he on. Did deep voice? He did. He had like a... Uh, like, like that yeah, kind of that, voice. We, we, met, we met that guy at the at Tumbleweed the other day. Henry, you remember him? Oh, yeah. We made him do that moonshine run. Yeah, uh... Adon. Yeah, that's it. I was always wondering whatever happened to him. Let's was in the box in front of you, haha. Uh, that's Aurora. Kettleman being real big, and he said, "Oh fuck, I want to get the fuck out of here." Yeah, because when he came into town, he was mentioning that he was down there because he found a letter from the Del Lobos talking about unification and vengeance and whatnot. Yeah, they left the note here in themes. We translated it. It sounded like some sort of a poetic uh, poetry or philosophy, a way no life. Oh, yeah, yeah, we asked him if that. She... Oh, yeah, she got that translator, Aurora. We uh, asked him if the guy that wrote the letter was a friend of his or not, and he said, well, I don't know yet. Oh, I guess he is, if he's sitting with him. Mm. Well, well, um, I... go ahead, Abigail. Well, I was just thinking, I, I did a little searching around Armadillo. What about that place just north of it? There's a cooking pot there, and then a few Twin beds. Rocks. And... Rocks? Yeah. Is Mom anybody in there? Twin Rocks. Twin Rocks is all right. The only problem with it is just too close to Armadillo. Well, I'm just thinking for the Delobos. Yeah, just they can have Twin option. Rocks, in my opinion. I mean, you can talk to them about that, whatever y'all decide. Just the biggest thing is just keeping ourselves up to date as far as our information and talking mm -hmm. to each other. So that way, let's say, um, well, it's still not going to go to war with um, Hypan, right? Boom Boys? Yep. If y'all need any guns, gems, supplies, we can help you that way, right? We can't get involved directly, but we can help out indirectly. Yeah, of course. So that's something I want to make sure that we are very keen on. I'm definitely not going to have that meeting Zhang Wei wants me to have with him. Avoid that for a while. I can try to keep as I have uh, been for the past two as well. I've been sleeping up by there. Want anyway, to meet so. about gems? All right. Dumb, yeah, they're uh, trying to control the market right now when it comes to uh, gem and corner. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm trying to do right now. They'll fuck you over. Well, take, we uh, met with him a long time ago about the prices, and I, he wanted to... Yeah, meet, I was at I that think, meeting. Lord. Yeah. And they, they were trying to put on uh, Jack and you guys this special deal, but they're giving that deal to everybody. What yeah, is the deal, if I'm asking? Honestly, I pay 20% over regular price for gems in general. So yeah, but if it's going to just uh, a random civilian, I don't see an issue with about it. But if you have an enterprise in industries where you're racking in multiple gems like that, I'm not going to give you 25 extra. Fuck that yeah. shit. The no. biggest issue is nobody's mining because everybody's getting robbed mining. So the only people wine mining are Zhang Wei because of Correct. That. Correct. Which brings me to my next point. We should really focus on the eastern mines and push people out west. Right? That way we can let them know that if they go out west and they mine, they won't get robbed. Well, at least they'll have our protection. They'll be under our wing. Yeah. And that way and we can purchase the robbed, gems. We'll let us know and we'll go after right. And we'll go after whoever's robbing them in exchange. They sell their gems to us. I think that's a fair, um, you know, trade. Yes, me, right? That was this, my original yeah. plan. That's was a good move. Tell them a long time ago. Uh, Boone did it. Boone was still back and forth what what to do. He wants them out though towards the end of his life. But uh, I told him I wanted to have a meeting and say that they could stay there in mine as long as they were making deals with us with gems. Yeah, and that's the thing. I don't want the deals to be exclusive with us, but definitely be selling to us anytime they can. Yeah, for I, I think a straight across price be instead of with all the twenty percent bullshit or even yeah. more. And that's the problem we ran into with them is we we made a deal to do a straight across six thousand dollar for six thousand dollar gems and they shorted us five hundred. Jesus, why? So we've had an issue with them. We've just been waiting for the right time to do stuff. And... Well, let me ask you all this question, okay? Would you rather have a set price and how much you want to buy gems for? So that we're all consistent across the board if hey, we buy gems from anybody or we just read just, you know, do as you please. That way we're not right. trying to compete with each other in the market, right? Because at the end of the day, all outlaws, their main currency is gems. And if we're constantly trying to increase the cost of gems... If you think about it, we're all hoarding each other in the long term, right? So I'm thinking maybe we have a set price, a minimum, how much you pay for it, right? Nah, it should be a set mm -hmm. price, most definitely, yeah. yeah. So 
Maybe we need to sit down next to when my uncle's around, everybody else is out at Cisco. And come to um, a set price. So, if I'm an outlaw and I buy a diamond, I'm going to pay, not 50, I'm going to pay maybe 60 or 65 for it, right? And that way, everybody around me will pay 65. So, we're not trying to increase the cost of diamonds. And that way, if they want to sell one, at least we all get the same price. Yep. That sounds fair to me. Yeah, I like it. Aurora? Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh... Oh, I, I don't know if today is the day because uh, the bass is here, but Aurora here, uh, everyone's kind of interested in getting thieves going. Yep. What's that all about? Trying to get business going through here, buying and selling everything. Okay. And I'm just curious because, uh, you know, Winsmo and I, are, we were going to do Tumbleweed, but if ever, we, the, the original plan for when I was talking to Jabass a while back is we all kind of wanted to work together instead of doing separate things. And so I, I see that's what you're doing here. And, uh, I guess we just got to talk about prices and how things are going to work out with who brings what to the table. Okay. So, I agree with that. Um, obviously, my uncle's got the final call when it comes to it. I think we should all specialize on one or two things. That way, we can pass the meat and potatoes around and not all uh, trying to eat at the same time. Yep. Good idea. And at the same time, we're not trying to compete with each other once again. I think that's something we need to... Um, have we need to uh bring back the west versus the east contrast and um have just as many as options out west versus out east and give people an incentive to come out here and conduct business or ask for you know favors or jobs or whatever it may be any opportunities that you know we might have for them agree mm -hmm. uh you will figure that in the future. I know with us, we would, when we were selling guns, uh, we would do an, a certain price for cash and then a cheaper price for gems because we really want to push selling stuff just for gems if we can. I wasn't even going to take it one step further and say we don't accept cash no more. We just operate in gems. I just don't know how effective that will be. Yeah, that's it'd be, why. It would be extremely effective if you could do yeah. that, honestly. It, it, yeah, if you start it out slow, you know, just tell them you know, cut off the uh, cash later on and then do gems like do half that, half. That's exactly why we were doing cheaper for gems and more for cash. So people could get the idea that they're going to get more for their their dime that way. There's a lot of people, a lot of people don't have gems, but if we keep pushing that, then they're going to start looking for gems as well, which is just going to make the the gym values go up and exactly. circulate right you know? right and exactly. making the gem basically the main currency because um mm -hmm. who sells and buys bonds and uh gold bars just type in Jesus well that type in doesn't do gold, so they just hold gold the market bars. what about the caravan do don't they do that as well caravans is that what you said caravan the, the, That's um, the Irish group, not the, the Irish group. Oh, yeah, they buy gold. They buy gold. They only buy, they buy gold, gold, right? They don't buy bonds. The okay. firm was buying gold and bonds, but I don't know if the firm. What the fuck happened there. to the firm? I think the firm's dead. No, uh, I didn't well, no, they ain't well. dead. I actually, I bumped into a few of Taipan's folk when I came uh, to the city, and apparently they just had a shootout with them or whatever. Oh yeah, uh, Ariel, tell them about what we found with that lady, the doctor that used to work for the Taipan, or still does. At least some remember. Please tell me you remember. It's a doctor that uh, worked with Tyburn and Gavin Summers before. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Emily Kenward. Emily Kenward. Yeah. Um, apparently, she was paying for um, her father's... Uh, what, what was it? What did he owe to who again? I it was forgot. Redwater Company. Um, Redwater Company. $1,400. Yeah. So was she working for Summers or Redwater? Because they're separate. She, no, she was working for Summers Before. at one point, and she was working for Taipan, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. She was her personal doctor. Okay. She said she's got a good relation. In her journal, at least, it says she has a good relationship with Taipan besides Co. Not that I think... Yeah. What was that new rule that came out from medical chat? With Co, you can't claim to be a doctor, them, right? Um, Unless you're certified? I think it's a new rule that came out. Uh, she's got a strong bond in her journal, at least. Uh, the firm, uh, I don't think from, uh, as, uh, Anola was with them. Uh, yeah. I, I robbed the girl as part of them. Lottie? Lottie Davis? Lottie's with the firm? I guess oh, Charlotte yeah, Davis? She, so, let me tell y'all about a story, right? She, she done, she done went ahead. 
and decided she wanted to threaten my son. I mean, let me tell you something. My son don't got a good track record with exes. He got Lottie, he got Eleanor, like, <laughs> he, 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 I, I'm tired of him. He, he ain't getting no pussy after, the, after that. And I ain't no way. He's Anyways, getting the jack treatment? He's getting the jack treatment. You know what I'm saying? That being said, Lottie threatened to kill him after he broke up with her. So I wasn't going to let that shit slide. I uh, tracked her yeah, down all the way to the state. She was she was hiding the best deal with Finn when the farm was still ran that shit. And uh and uh when I came over and I demanded that she come out and I showed her Finn was hard pressed to defend her. Apparently, from what Co said later on, Finn and Lottie are together. That makes sense. I've seen her around them a while ago. Um at the same time she was dating your son as well. Who's Finn? He's one of the firm. He's a piece of shit that stabbed me because I punched Finn him. You want him dead? He used to be Patches, isn't he? I think I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, Patches. Patches. Yeah, is Patches is the uh, the one who used to um, ask for spare change in front oh of the God. Valentine rat Saloon. Man. That's Rat Man. I fucking hate him. Yeah, the one who pets rats all the time. Yeah, that's I know I five of the uh, firm had split up. Um, it was Charlie, Matt, uh, Enola, and George. They had all left at the same time. Holy then, shit, so. why? George and Reggie uh, were I the don't leads. Know George went to London. Reggie, yeah. I don't know, disappeared. Okay, because we, we had a meeting with George, Enola, uh, and a couple other people one day. And they were going to buy guns off of us. They did buy some guns off of us, and they were going to continue doing what, that. You, and you they can't have outlaw do doctors. Was about I thought you could. You just cannot just claim ago, to be a doctor, right? Yeah, they were. They were buying gold bars for good prices as well. But again, they've been honestly. Ariel has been a really good addition kind of with the information. Part. Okay. Also, uh, for I heard about that shootout they had with the that pan. I heard they brought that down to the west. I don't know if that's true, but if that's the case, uh, that where exactly? Be. Yeah, we need to look into that. Yeah, I was gonna. If anybody has uh, Finn's telegram, I was gonna reach out to him and have a meeting saying, uh, prefer them not to be doing that shit down there, and that we were gonna push them out anyways so they can ha handle them when they're in the east, but don't be coming in our territory with their war. I I can ask Zip if he has. He he seems to have everyone's telegram he, number. He probably has Finn's because he was gonna attack Finn after Finn stabbed me. Okay. Oh, Great. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hmm. What are we missing here? Have we talked about everything. Where did Josie go, by the way? She's disappeared. She, uh, she I think, had a headache and she hadn't mm -hmm. been back since. I don't, I don't really yeah. know what happened. Maybe that woman's possessed by a devil. Probably. Just thinking, probably thinking about toes too much. <laughs> Where's the lion day? Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so, um,. Maverick, hopefully yeah. my uncle will be out tomorrow. We can meet and talk and figure out exactly what we want to do. Once we get that sorted, I think uh, once we um, agree what we want to push out of thieves and we want to push out tumbleweed, uh, we're not overlapping and uh, working on the same goal. We're working, we're, yeah. We're not working on the, on the, you know, in the same lane, headed for the same goal. Separate lanes is probably a lot better. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, you know. I've been telling your uncle for a while. I'd rather us all work together instead of splitting up because we're gonna actually be able to make something if we work together. Yeah. Absolutely. And sharing information, what we're doing right now is very, very vital. Keeping the West alive yeah. and keeping each other afloat. And we should be um, doing this every few weeks or at least once a month. I was gonna say once a month is probably better. Um, yep. Is if we meet too often, I think we'll run out of things to talk about. But once a yeah. month can keep things fresh, and if we have any critical information. We could always, um, you know, have an urgent meeting. That's true. Uh, on and then the keeping up the law movements. If we know they're out west, notifying each other. We talked about that a while ago. Oh, uh, what are we exactly doing? Winsmore was telling me that uh, you guys are not pulling guns on them, but if there's just a few of them or one of them, send them on their way by smacking their horse's ass and making them walk. That's back. what I've done so far. I make I made the law law. Uh, well, I made the, the law walk a couple times, and uh, if we see them out west, show of force. Push them out. Hopefully, uh, you got the numbers if they try to go after you to fly back. Okay. Yeah, we kind of followed them out of Armadillo, pushed them out of the west. I'm telling you, it's not worth trying to just kidnap Lol and uh, gun them down. We're going to be locked up in Cisco for a long, long time. It's better to yeah. find alternatives to fight the battle without taking directly into them. So if they want to do something about it, at least you're reacting. Agreed. Mm -hmm. If they attack us, then 
less charges than a full class one. Yeah, I'm tired of getting sent Siska for many years. When I get want to be out here. Going for 12 to 1500 days. Jesus Christ, that's like four years. Aurora, I'm of, uh, I'm of Kings by the time you get out. Oh, Jesus Christ, you and your fucking cousins. Well, it won't be my cousin, because I don't have a cousin to marry. Oh, holy shit. Does anybody need food? I do, actually. You yeah, hungry shit. I'm also thinking. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa Angel, whoa, whoa. She comes in chat and starts raining, man. Hey, everyone's hungry. Alright, I'll make us food. Let's feast. Oh, okay, she's making food. <laughs> I still need to go to Blackboard and grab some supplies. I got nothing on me right now. <laughs> it probably wouldn't water. be bad to check telegrams either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. probably might be around for a while. Alright, I'm gonna head to Blackwater and check my telegrams. Wash shows up, I'm running. Yep. I mean, it's not like they're gonna recognize Kramer's hat on my head. Oh, is that what you have? Kramer might recognize his hat, though. Ow! That's unfortunate. What the fuck was that for, CD? I was trying to steal the hat. Oh, I got a bunch of cuffs from him, too. We had five pairs. Yeah, I got three pairs of cuffs. I had to use one on him. Yeah, somebody here. This... Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello? Hello? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good to see you again. Yeah, why don't you, um... Why don't you come back in, like, um... 10, 15 minutes. We can definitely talk. We, we passing through going west. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Rebecca? Rebecca. Yeah. Yeah. How you been? <laughs> Please stop kneeling. Um. Man, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the hell? It's a long story, motherfucker. It's a long story. Uh, Once y'all come back in uh, uh, ten minutes, we're going to Blackwater checking telegrams. We'll be back here. I want to talk to y'all. We didn't. Oh hell! We no. well, we didn't come oh, no. to see you. We were just going west. Right. Why don't you make a stop here then? I mean, okay. All right. I'll see you in ten minutes then. Sure. I'll have dinner ready by the time you all get back. You're like an actual mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. What else did you expect? <laughs> Rebecca, we're going to uh, Blackwater and get your kilograms all the way back, right? Uh, I forgot how many we got. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can come with us if you want. I'm just gonna stay here. Alright, I'll be lazy. <sighs> I feel so honored to have you on my horse. Oh, God. Okay, I'll take my own horse. <laughs> <laughs> how come you're okay with I'm Michael? I'm lazy. How come you're okay with being on Michael's horse, but not mine? Michael doesn't comment anything about me being on his horse. Okay, you know what? You know what, Rebecca? I've realized something. Okay, what have you realized? I don't think I can call you my queen anymore. <laughs> okay, and why is that? It's not gonna work out. Oh, it's just you breaking up again. Breaking up again. Yeah. So I want to talk about before. it. Okay. So, uh, Aurora, I'm really glad uh, you joined us. You're just assuming I joined you? Uh, you definitely did. You don't even have... Unless you want to lose your throne as a queen peas landing. Oh, you are not taking that away from me. I can, but I'll let you have it. <laughs> well, I tell you, I'm bored. Mm. 
think she's considering it. I need to buy ammunition. I need to buy bandages, medical bags. They just took everything off. This is like a... Yeah, the fucking roof did, but he just took everything off of me. Even my gun oil, too. Really? That's rough. Yeah. Me and Michael just had at each other our... Eh. <laughs> our shit that was gonna yeah, be you told me about that, actually. Yeah. No longer it's a pretty smart. queen. So those two folks that came by, those are the Freemans. They operate in the bayou. Uh, I want to work with them. They got a large moonshine operation happening in um, uh, just uh, the speakeasy, just north of Saint Denis. It's the one Peter Gray runs, isn't it? I'm not sure, but they're a pretty big family apparently. They got like 20 cousins. I'm gonna ask them actually if they keep them in family or not. It's gonna say uh, Peter Gray was running that one. I don't know if he still is. I haven't seen or heard about him in a while. Gangs and take other lands from others. Um, in RP, yes, but nobody owns anything in roleplay. Like, uh, uh, like, there's a rule in the server to where like everything is owned by the state. So you're just holding on to it in like in, in like an RP term. You don't actually own it or you know um, claim it as your own private property. There's no private property. It's all public. It's just um, if you want to hold down something, you can, and other groups can fight you for it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. It was good. I'm gonna get changed. Oh, Rebecca was mi I wanna go mining. I wanna find that son of a bitch. I want to find that son of a bitch that was hunting. I want to find that guy. He's got to be around somewhere. Look at some supplies. Hey, what up, G-Man? How you doing, homie? Alright, I'm going to medical time. Who's that? Get like probably a hundred rifle ammo. I'm not and a hundred gun ammo for time being. We don't need a lot, right? Should be good. Go on this. Go on this. All my money. This one's clean. Is it etched at all? It's not. Sorry, I'm gonna say is it customized? It is etched with. Property of the Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. Great. So if we get caught with it a lot of time. How much gems do I have? How many gems do I have? Seven diamonds, three emeralds, well, two uncut. Uh, it would be probably nine diamonds in total. Uncut sapphire, uncut, um, sa uh, and then ruby. No, is it sapphire and a what? Oh, it's both sapphires. I'm stupid. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, pedal. Is that you? Uh, yep. How you been? Uh, good. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Just enjoying my night. Nice. What are you up to? No good. Ruth just spotted me. Ruth did? Where is he? By the office. It looks like probably him or only one or two more. Well, let's go. Let's go deal with him, man. Yeah, let's go say hi. Come on, Aurora. Let's go say hi. Oh, I'm happy to. I remember Ruth when he was a cadet. Just working out of the bar here. Serving drinks. He's not a cadet, he's a cunt. That's what he is. That's a fake. Um, you don't like That's him? That's a fake. He a bitch. Hey, 
he's bitch made. Yeah, he's a little bitch. Yeah, he was a great boss, Beth, to be honest. Wait, he used to be a boss? No, no, no boss staff. Oh, bar staff. Okay, I heard boss for some. I love the motherfucker because he's just constantly enabling um, Charles CD. Hey, Ruth, why don't you come out and talk? I haven't seen you in a while. Come on, Ruth, come out here. Let me talk to you real quick, all right? Hey, Ruth, you bitch ass motherfucker, you miss me? Let me see that pretty face of yours. This it is. Motherfucker. Where you bitch at, Come out here, man. How, how you doing, Marquis? Man, I'm doing all right. We're you? not going to butt you. Come on, come outside. Charles, nobody asked you anything. Okay, too, give me my fucking gun. Give me yeah. my gun. Give me my gun. It's been too long, man. Come on, Ruth. If you're a man, you come outside. Damn, he really went there. Really went there. Mm. Or you can you can hide your fucking tail between your legs and stuck it inside. Like yes, Charles. I'll come outside when I know you hate me. I'm not gonna do shit. Okay? You think I'm dumb? You think I'm dumb? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, if you think I'm done, then come out here, all right? And prove me wrong. No. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a solid no right there. That's, Who's in town we can definitely kill? Let me see. Hmm. Ooh, you really weird there, Ruth? There, Ruth, Ruth you're just gonna just stay inside and let everybody in Blackwater die? We can have the Blackwater massacre protect, again. Man. Is the paperwork worth it? Hey Ruth, is Creamer all right or did they get him, the wolves? I got no clue. Come on, Ruth, come out here. We're not gonna hurt you. We're not gonna rob you. We're not gonna touch you. Come on, we just wanna say hello. That's all, right? <laughs> hey, Ruth, come over to the window real quick, man. Man, not with the gun, you bitch. Everybody. Really? Really? You're gonna have a gun out and just. I was reloading. Why? Okay, Hello. That was good there, bro. Hey, uh, good choice in been? jacket. Man, I've been alright. Look at this shine, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, it is a good choice in a jacket. Hey, hey, look at this shine. Look at this shine. That I is found, a good change. I found it in the lost and, uh, lost and found section over there in Sissel. So it doesn't stay. Where did Rebecca go, by the way, chat? That was in the lawn. That oh, she was in the lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah some motherfucker pissed me, but hey. I mean, they're lost. Can I have your horse, Ruth? No. Why not? My horse. Yeah, we're not gonna go choice, after law. Though. I'm just messing with them. I mean, you wanna steal my horse? You can steal my horse. I mean, I'll just have to put out a warrant or whatever. That's oh, fine, I got plenty of them. Who are you, Marty Malone? Hey, Marty Mellis? Uh, who the fuck, fuck is that? Malone. What do you mean, who the fuck is that? Did you guys start recruiting young children? How much happened? Hey, hey, you better watch your fucking mouth, Ruth, okay? I'll jump through that window and gun you down. I lost my hat. I'm very upset. You guys are talking, I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's just get out of here, okay? Let, let, him, let him hide inside and make him feel all hot and mighty. This took, man. See you later, bro. Hi, Ruth. Good, good to see you, Mark. Here. Hey, Ruth. I see you too, Aurora. Thanks. Hey, Ruth, be careful with a pretty face of yours, okay? Might invite some scars on it. Charles, do the world a favor and never open your mouth again. <laughs> do the world a favor and stop breathing. I can say the same to you. <laughs> yours is better. Alright, is everybody good? Oh, I need some, uh, I need some bandages. I should be good. I'll meet you guys on the other side. I gotta go. Right. You robbed anyone today? I don't plan on robbing or breaking the law tonight. Unless Aurora's being chased after her, then that's definitely worth it. I, sh I just came out of Cisco, so I don't want to go back. What if there's a shiny Lancaster right there? Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe. Maybe. Rare circumstances. False imprisonment, criminal threats, time 
Um, X10 terrorism attempted murder of a gun mobile. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm de oh, maybe I am wanted now after all. All right, everybody good? Yeah. Right, I did it where I go. Y'all gonna kill me. Well, if you see a shiny lane castle, let me know. It's me, I will, because I'll say I want it. I'll help you get it. Which? Over and repeater. This is shit. It's worth checking. Hmm. Hey, where did Aurora go? Uh, telegram station is inside, right? No, Ronnie's inside. I don't see Aurora. Where's Aurora? She said, she said she'll, uh, she'll uh, meet us on the other side or some shit like that. She said she's been resting today. Oh, Scarlet? Okay, she's yeah, good. Okay. I think she's really heavily walking as well. Uh, yeah, she probably is. She's probably looking at the same time I got. Alright. Um, but I, I told her to meet us in Thieves so she wanted to get together with all of us. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, we can go there. Otherwise, she said she's gonna be around probably for a long time tomorrow. Oh, okay. That works. Uh, am I far away meeting Aurora? She said she was she gonna meet us. Yeah. She had to go to the tailor. Oh, well, she, let's oh, go she to the tailor then. Not. She went to the tailor? Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Make sure she's not alone, because she's looking at a long time, Cisco. Why did she decide to go on her own? That's her horse, right? Waiting for you outside, all right? Okay, I'm coming right now. All right. <laughs> what is my horse doing? He was hitched, and then you whistled for him, then he got spooked. Oh, I see. I was still out of here. Even Bale run for the sounds, yeah, probably. I don't want to do crime when I get a Cisco right away chat. I want to give like a day or two for like pacing. Oh, there we go. There, there's the at least a day, at least a day. Like I, unless unless I have to commit the crime. <laughs> Rebecca Lancaster, Lancaster. Mm -hmm. I repeat, I see a Lancaster. Do we want it? Yeah, I don't have any long arms. Yes, I mean, yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. God damn it! I'm legit out of long arms. This poor guy, man. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> howdy, y'all. Y'all me? Yeah. Hey, speak up, I can't hear you. Perhaps you are deaf. I can hear you now, uh fell with the Lancaster, what's your name? You ask my name. Yes. Who are you to ask my name? Stranger. Then I call me stranger. No, I'm saying I'm a stranger asking for your name. And I'm a stranger not telling you mine. Why is that? Why be so difficult? 
Why are you so difficult? I'm just trying to have a conversation, conversation with you. I'm trying to strike a conversation with you. Why are you so difficult, my buggy? Yeah. You're having a bad day, is that what it is? Hey. Now I am having one. Good, because it's about to get a lot worse. Put your fucking hands up. Take that Lancaster, Rebecca. What's your name? Stranger. Oh, is that so? I'm sure about that. Hey. Man, if your parents named your way a stranger, that's tough, mate. All right, stranger. Dance for me. Dance, stranger. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, he can go away. We don't need him. What did you ask? Dance. I was busy with your your wife was putting her hands all over me. It's not my wife. That's my friend. Fuck like you, shot. I know no dances. Just start moving your feet, bitch. Um, just, just move your feet. Like All right, dancing. Come on. I kick the dust to shit, mate. You ask me to dance. Yeah, my yes. yes. You know, honorless, you are honorless thieves. I'm not dancing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fire some bullets at his feet, he might dance. Better. I just want to get shot. <laughs> want to get shot? I can make it happen. Dance or what? Nope. I will not dance. Ha! You hit my like pussy. Dance! You still hit dance. like a pussy. Good. Enjoy it. Yeah, leave that guy out of it. He's got nothing. Keep at the mouth. You see what happens to you next. God oh, damn it. I didn't want to fucking hurt that guy, man. Now I gotta get charges. Hey, if they ask who did it, Charles Devon, you're welcome. God damn it, dude. God fucking damn it. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I, 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 Thanks, CD. What the Lancaster, though? I wish you just danced. I don't know why people get difficult. I swear to God, I, I have the worst luck possible. When I aim my gun on people, it's almost like they want to piss me off so I can just put a bull in their head. I don't want to do that. I just want to rob them and move on with my life, right? Man, you don't yeah. Maybe this is cake, mate. Maybe you can't get like that. People just don't like to lose their pride. It's a pride thing. I'm just sure about you're proud when you die. I think people rather be pride and live. Oh, Anybody met that man before? Do you have his name? Nah, it's the first time I've seen him. Wait, where's Ariel? Oh, we're good, okay. He was being mouthy. Yeah! I just don't like doing crime and get out of Cisco right away, but... Go to the stables, by the way. Yeah, there's one nearby, so... Let me know. I gotta stop there as well, too. Where are we headed? Uh, I'm gonna stay in Thieves and probably go uh, just go out west of mine. I don't I don't want to do any crime. Unless yeah, I have I'm to. I'm probably gonna lay my um, I really don't like doing crime when I come out of Cisco. Yeah, fair enough. Plus, with, with the... To basket now tomorrow. Yeah, we should probably save it. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's, tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day. Yeah, I need to not get caught tonight. Probably for the best. Alright, let's have a calm evening then. I'm the, uh... gonna go to bed in my tent. Now, Aurora, good work today. I'm gonna get toe tag. What does that mean? <laughs> My horse tick. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. I was about to say, what the hell does that mean? Nice to meet you, Ariel. I'm Roddy. Roddy Rivers. I built different. Nice to meet you. 
That's what that's what Marquis told me to say at least. Ronnie, we're gonna show the world how you um, ride a wagon. Yeah. The best wagon rider in the West. I believe you, absolutely. I've got food if you want it. Please, I'll take some. Mm -hmm. let's, let's just uh, eat inside, though. Oh, I'm fucking sitting down here. I can't hear shit. Howdy, howdy. Sorry to make you wait. That, um... Mouthy son of a bitch that, uh, you know, didn't like the fact that a gun was in his face. So, just kept mouthing off, so. Thank you. Had to teach him a lesson. <laughs> so, uh, it was some fellow with a Lancaster blonde hair. He got a wide, uh, kind of built, uh, Oops, sorry. A body. And, um, we wanted his Lancaster off him. I was trying to start a conversation and see who it is and talk to him. Like I always do with anybody. And he was getting very lippy and mouthy and just stubborn the whole entire time. He called himself Stranger and wouldn't say his name. He's just, just being difficult. That's it. He didn't want to dance. Oh my god, thank you. Right. <laughs> Abigail, oh, have you showed our guests uh, some food? Mm -hmm. I did offer and they said they didn't want any. Though I do have some extra if they still want some. I bet you if I want some. Alright. So I don't think I've had the pleasure of meeting you, sir. I met, um... Mm -hmm. I met you back at the bayou. Smooth. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you did actually meet me before. I have? When? I was riding down near roads when you came running up on me with a gun. You asked me where I came from. I said I was come from out west and from the mines. You said you like people like that. And you said, oh, that's right. You right. right in front of me. That's right. Okay. That's right. You had a box near your horse, right? Yeah. Okay, I remember, I remember. How you been? What's your name? Isaac. Never Isaac. Fine. And the lady with the blue shirt? I remember your name. It's a Good long day. Say Is that Tony? Hmm. Um. Miss Freeman. Mm-mm. That's Tony. Oh, Ariel knew who you were. Okay. Tony. Mm hmm. Oh, let's see. Very smooth, CD. Very smooth. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I come across a lot of folks in the crossing. Um, I can assure you that um, I will do better. So, um, as you all know, the way we started is I robbed one of your own. I took her gun. We had a deal. You uh, exchange it for a box of moonshine. Mm -hmm. And um, I do appreciate that. From just um, talking to y'all and just conducting some business. It seems like it's something y'all do out of uh, the bayou. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're, they're not very good. What else y'all sell besides uh, moonshine? Whatever we get our hands on, really. So you buy everything and sell everything? Mm, not exactly buy, but sure. We can sell some stuff. No guarantee that we'll have it. But if we do, we can sell it. Okay. Um. That's what you're looking for. Well, I mean, what does you have to offer besides moonshine, right? So I'm, I'm trying to see if we can conduct some business together. Maybe mm. as uh, some sort of um, middle ground we can come to. Mm -hmm. Oh. I handle the moonshine. Isaac here. You like tonics. Tonics. Okay. What about gems? You said you were out mining out west, right? Oh, you sell gems here. The. Uh, well, 
I suppose I was supposed to keep them for my cousins, but I actually sold them to the store, and they got rather pissed at me, so I learned my lesson. Mm. Pardon? <laughs> so, uh, how often you go mining? Not often Not at all. Not often, so far. It can't be far, but it's worth it, right? There's a lot of money to be made in mining. It just needs a lot of patience and dedication. Mm. I don't got a lot of patience. It's all right. So you all were heading out west before um, I got in front of you, right? Where are you heading mm -hmm. exactly out west? Just sightseeing or what? Basically, you ain't got much else to do. Yeah, I was looking for a. Uh, I was looking for a poppy plant. See what they grow, so I can start wearing you know, mixing that to my tonics. Mm. And uh, what do you do with the tonics afterwards? Well, the idea was to start selling them to people who would need them, but I'm still trying to find out, you know, good enough tonics to be sold. I mean, I got one, which I think is good enough, but I think I'll need a little bit more of a catalog. But the one I got will make you uh, run pretty damn fast. We actually, we, we, we used it in a, in a bank robbery once. We were pretty nice, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it's something we can definitely use, or it was, um, you know, interacting with the law, either running or being a thorn on our side, so something like that can definitely come handy. How much do you think you sell one for? Uh, I'd say one bottle would go about 150 for the time of, uh, you know. One yeah. whole bottle or one box? One whole bottle. One whole bottle, one holy shit. That's Why is it so expensive? Oh, it's a. Uh, I, mean, I don't necessarily see a lot of other people selling this, and also just going around gathering the material takes a lot of time. Mm. And we're talking about large bottle or small one? Oh, large bottles, but I could bring the price down, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about it, right? Because if it costs 150 and I need six of those, I mean, it's pretty expensive, mm -hmm. right? Let's say we'll call it, maybe 150 was a lot. That was just a rough estimate, like I said. Why 75? Mm -hmm. 75 could work. I got no problems then. Is that Rebecca up there? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, if you get a few of those, let me know. Uh, send me. You got my Telegram, right, Tony? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. You definitely get something going. Now, um, I'm not sure what you've heard so far about us and what we're trying to do out here in Thieves Landing, but uh, we're trying to build something special, and uh, we got a lot of folks that are part of the West and recently came back and trying to help out with uh, bringing it back to its uh, glory days. Obviously, um, one person can't get it done, but together we can achieve more. And I know y'all are just um, at the border of Saint Denis, just in north in the Bayou. But if there's something that we can work on between the east and the west as far as business, I'm all for it. Mhm. Mm We're not against it. No, not at all. Well, that's great. That's good to hear. What have you heard so far, though, about out west? Have you heard anything? Mm hmm. Honestly, mostly that you're just a jackass who goes around robbing people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not wrong about the robbing part. What else? I mean, that's really it. CD, what? What, what do you think, think Tony? Man? What do you think, Isaac? Well, I never really knew you, so I can't really judge you. I don't know really like well, first there. impressions do matter a lot, right? Yeah, you know, first impressions, you kidnap somebody in front of you. Kidnap somebody? Who was it? Yeah, it was just lady in a pink shirt. She asked if you were Desmond or some shit. I don't know. I don't know who it was, but that was my first time seeing you. Oh, that was Lottie. That was uh, Charlotte Davis. I don't know who that is, but all right. Yeah, that was my first impression of you. Very strange, very strong though. But uh, you know, still got to know you a little bit more before I come to my own judgment. 
you ever been too bad to us, I guess, besides, you know, Rob and Tony over there. Right. I think I spoke with, um, is it your cousin, your uncle, your father? I'm not sure who it is. Uh, who was it, Tony? Excuse me? Who? Who did I speak with that got very angry with me and uh, oh, threatened me? Cousins. We all cousins. Yeah, we all cousins. Let's see. Uh, I got a question for y'all. Don't take it the wrong way. Depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, if you find your cousin to be very attractive, would you ever be with her? Excuse Damn me. it, CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you uh, just say? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you said y'all are cousins, so you must experience some sort of thought in your head about that, right? No. He, he's got a weird thing of keeping it in the family, don't worry. Yeah. What, oh, Earlier no. he was saying what was wrong with fucking oh, your no. own cousin. So this is his. He's just trying he just, to make. I'm trying to understand, it's okay? Okay, to, to fuck your own cousin. Yeah, he just wants I blame the motherfucker, like, by the way. He, he was talking about how people are just, uh, you know, going around having incest, all right, in Lamon and uh, Butch Creek. So, y'all in that area. So I was just asking if that was going on or not. Oh my God, he keeps digging. I mean, see, me, even if they were fucking each other, it's none of your business. It's not, but I want to know. Why? Hey, y'all be fucking the armadillos up out of here, so. <laughs> so the rumor's not true? No. No. Okay, not at all. See, I'm fact checking. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, I guess I appreciate you for asking at first. I think I speak for all of us. We're uh, very sorry for Little Bass's attitude here and the, the yeah. fucked question he just asked. Yeah. Listen, I, I believe in honesty. Uh, I think it's the best policy, right? So, I'm just very blunt about how I feel. Say things. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. And I appreciate a man who can come, you know, straightforward out with what's on exactly. his mind. Would you ever trust somebody who has not shared the true opinion? Mm -hmm. I guess not. Not really. Exactly, no. right? Those are the kind of people you think. Make sure you keep them arm's length. Everybody else you hold on to. That's true. That's true. <clears throat> well, um, I mean, that's all I have, unless uh, folks around me want to ask you any questions or talk to you. But like I said, um, yeah, I might get the title of being a, you know, an asshole that goes around robbing folks. But at the end of the day, we're trying to build something here, and it's not gonna happen overnight. It can take some effort, commitment, dedication, and everybody coming together to believe into one goal. And uh, that's what we're trying to accomplish here, right? Mm -hmm. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. um, like I told you when we did talk, I'm the nicer of my cousins. And you see how my other cousins get down. We don't mess around. They don't. They threaten to kill me. goes both ways, we are fine. We don't bother you. You don't bother us. Yeah, you always what I told you. You're always welcome in the garage as long as you don't rob anybody. Well, at least don't rob us. Well, that's what I said to them. I said to, to, to uh, the other cousin, I said, listen, since we got some sort of, um, hopefully, um, business lined up in the future, it's probably best that um, we don't go after your people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hell, we won't come after yours. Well, I appreciate that. Are you sure you don't want to eat? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. what kind of food is it? It's, uh, game meat with carrots stew. Carrots? Mm. They don't got that in the bayou, right? I mean... Tell me, what do we have in the bayou, CD? Since you know. Oh, yes, it's you. um, you got swamps, gators, and old-looking trees. You're not wrong. And fish. Very good. He's learning. If you want, we can do gator meat instead of, um, you know, game meat. No, I'm fine. Hey, it's okay. All right. I was just curious. Of course, absolutely. What is the saying? Um, the cat got curious. But sure. curiosity killed the cat. Yep, that's the right. one. But satisfaction brought it back. All right. I don't know that it goes that way. <laughs> I know. I heard that for the first time yesterday. <clears throat> uh, 
So it's all about satisfaction. Is that what y'all say out here? I don't know. Oh, I ain't never heard that before. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. Talks about I gotta sit down. I can actually see that I'm working, weirdly enough. <laughs> well, glad you could be uh satisfied. And uh. Hey, Kelly. Per pleasure, you know. I'm looking forward to uh doing more business with you and perhaps garnering this uh, relationship that we got going on. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly the plan, so. Um, thank you for making the trip out west. Mm -hmm. Thank mm. you. It's nice meeting you. Mm. Mm, it's nice meeting you all as well. If you ever need anything, just stop by and say hello. We'll keep that in mind. Same all right. to you. Yeah, all right. Appreciate that. Um, if you have not got all the names around, I'll go from left to right. Man that can't see is Luca. Lucas, one's more. Got Ronnie Rivers. To my right, Abigail. Well, Ariel, I don't know your full name. Madison. Madison. Maverick Stone and Rebecca Lane. Nice to meet you all. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah, I think Winsmore will be just enough. to remember. Met him and Siska. Oh, y'all have I met in Siska? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. And that was a fun time. You sit down and smoke. People like to complain about Siska, but really, all I gotta do is just shut the fuck up. See, that's what I said. That don't always work. Right, yeah, Luca? I, did. I got thrown in the hole, and that's what I did was shut the well, fuck up. So. That's because, well, you had Luca with you, and Luca can, I don't know, Luca talks enough for both people, so that makes sense. I didn't say a damn word, and I had a, I had a pretty hard right time. You gotta let the other people talk around and talk their shit so they get beat down, you just watch. Yeah, I mean, hell on earth is Cisco. That's how I see it. So avoid that place as much as possible. And if you go there, just survive. Count the days and get the hell out. Yeah, I don't really want to go back. Nobody does. <clears throat> if you're lucky, you'll go with CD. It's easy to keep your head down when he's so noticeable. What? <laughs> I don't know what she said, but um, I respect what she says. She said you're unnoticeable? She no, practically said you, you, you steal the spotlight from everyone, so they concentrate yeah. on you, not everyone else. <laughs> I hate it! He was too busy playing <laughs> Booker's dog that they didn't even search me for any contraband. See what oh, I do for my, my friends, people I care about? I'm willing to become a dog that barks. And a bull. Don't forget the bull. And a bowl that bounce. Well. Understandable. How I often guess. people say that? What, a bowl that bounce? And he's pretty good at barking. Let me hear a bark. Just one. Some people, when they ask for that, they gotta pay. That's fair. I don't want to be one of your paying customers. So I'll leave you to it. So you want it for free? I mean, that would be preferable. Maybe, maybe next week I'll see you, okay? All right. I'll keep All you right. waiting. Oh, just keep me all teased. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you have a reason to come out well, to thieves, right? to do for three dollars and fifty cents yeah, uh absolutely nothing because uh i probably can make that times 20. Today. how much is that uh i'm not sure eight dollars all right probably around sixty dollars 
give or take. Hey, what up, Tone? I will give, actually. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie's the smart one. Okay. Ronnie does look like the smart one. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's all it is. Uh, thank you all for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Tony, you ready to make our way? Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm supposed to be supposed to be the asshole cousin, so. Are you? Yeah, okay. That's what they say. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. I'll take care. Asshole cousin. Oh, well, except for CD's blunder of a question, no. that went pretty well. Ariel. Yes. Hmm. I want you to come closer. Ooh. What are you okay. thinking right now? Um, I'm tired. Okay, besides being tired, what else is going on your mind? When I'm tired, I don't really have much going on in my mind. Okay, so nothing. Yes. Okay. Rebecca, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking it's none of your business if they fuck or not. Ronnie? Why the fuck did you ask people if they fucked their cousins? Where? I want to know the rumor's true or not. You don't just ask somebody if they fucked their cousins because you heard that where they live has- They're a family of cousins. What other better family do I'm supposed to ask? You are so uh, weird. Uh, I'm weird? How yeah, is that weird? Yes. The motherfucker I told mean, me there's a family in Lemoyne that like to fuck each other, okay? And if the motherfucker great. told you that it's fun um, to jump off a bridge, would you? No, but I wanted to know, okay? Can you blame me? Yes, you don't yes. just ask people that, CD. That is how you take a good conversation and turn it into a very stupid one. No, a lighthearted one is I trying to go for, okay? That was not lighthearted. You're lucky they didn't They almost walked the fuck out funny. on you. Okay, now imagine they actually do fuck each other, and they feel deeply offended that you're asking such a question. Why would they feel offended? Because they're probably trying to keep it on the down low if they're fucking each other. Why is it? Why is it frowned upon? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Why is it frowned upon? What's wrong with that? That's how they did it back in the Middle Ages. Yeah, and look how those kids turned out to be. They got royalty blood in them. How did I end up here? <laughs> Extra limbs or missing limbs? <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> Earlier he was talking about, well, Winsmore brought up that he, he's in the, in the booker, and then he, uh... You're into booker. Oh, no, no, she's a mother said, figure for me. Yeah, he says he calls her mama. I said, I said mama. Oh, like, mommy. I didn't say some, into her. some people are into that, you know, like, being it's pushed wrong, around and... Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't get it twisted, okay? Well, right after that, you start talking about fucking cousins, so... You see, no, it's because the motherfucker brought it up. You know motherfucker's gonna fuck your mother, right? So he's probably gonna try to fuck Booker now. I don't care. She can do as she pleases. Good luck. Y'all have to understand, this is the outlaw life, okay? You gotta think beyond the law. I still don't see where <laughs> fucking is your it, cousins comes into play there. I don't think it's against there. the law. Then why y'all acting like it is against life. the law or like something that is supposed to be like, hush, hush. Maybe socially not accepted? People. I don't know. Really? It's a very strange thing to ask people yeah. when you're having a meeting about it's business relative. with. It's a relative. It's not I mean, that's how we all came from Adam and Eve. We're all come from the same cloth eventually, right? If you, if you, if you go back. Yeah, no, there's, there's yeah. limits. There's, it's just There's too some questions far. you just don't ask. That is one of them. Okay, all you right, fine, 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 fine. Little bear. Keep doing it. It's great. I support you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, keep somebody cares. Family is, yeah. is definitely not something I intend to do. Well, it's right. not something I want to do. I'm just, uh, I get intrigued by unique things in life. When I see something different and special, I gravitate to order, right? I want to know exactly what's going on and know more about it. For me, that's what I seek in life. Who's just a curious Honestly? kid? That's all. Okay. I get where you're coming from, 
but it's not always appropriate to just straight up ask people. Sure, but I came off of it as some sort of rumor that was going around. And it was fact checking. Yeah, that's true. I feel We're like just we made thankful this rumor that up. they uh, didn't take didn't it the wrong way. Bite our heads off, yeah. Mm. Alright, moving on from that. I mean, how'd y'all think the meeting went? Surprisingly well, considering what the fuck you talked to them about. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like they kind of do their own thing and we should leave them the fuck alone. That's kind of what yeah. it sounded like. Yeah, that's kind of what it sounded like. My only said. fear is they might feed information to the Genzos and tell them what's going on. They're, they're our neighbors. They're really close by. I mean, they're maybe four minute ride away from the manor, so. And, um. Oh, well, and if they are, they can fucking shoot them too. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Can't do anything about it. You just deal with it later when yeah. it, uh, it comes up. Can't make everyone happy, little bastard. We're gonna have a fucking enemy somewhere. Oh, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I told everybody. You know, probably being an outlaw and what we do, and especially with going around robbing folks, we're gonna have more enemies than friends. That's how it is. Well, when I, uh, when I used to live next to them, they seemed to keep to themselves and uh, just, you know, kind of want to hang around the bay. They do have a moonshine thing going on there. That's about all I know. Right, um... Which lead me to my next thing. Do because I know Scarlet was working on something like that for Moonshine. Is should we? Um, what do y'all think? Should we get something going with them, or should we stick to we Scarlet? Could, well, uh, Rick and I were talking about it, and Boone and all that used to run Shine and sell that to Aurora back in the day for Emerald. So I mean, we could just start doing it again, honestly, and then. Yeah, I, I got Scarlet doing that right now, actually. Um, oh, okay. We gotta figure out who's doing what. That's what we gotta figure out, like we were right. talking about earlier. Right, I think we should hold off on anything until we figure out who's doing what. That way, um, you know, we're not overlapping, like we said. Yeah, spend the next few days, come up with ideas of what you feel like your group could do, and what you're fine with doing, what you feel comfortable doing, and then we'll discuss it all when we're in a meeting. Abigail, how would how have things been with the speakeasy at Thieves? Any um, new folks coming up to you? Anybody that you want to hire or work with? Mm. How do you all feel about uh, Billy Blunders? Who the hell is Billy Blunders? Uh, Two holes? Blasters? Blasters, yeah. Oh, God. What's wrong with Billy? Isn't he a hero? He killed a lawman. He double barrel blasters. He stole a hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah. And then they went after him with another no, no, no. hot air balloon. Not only did oh. he steal the hot air balloon, he had this idea at the same time as little Jimothy. Oh god, he was and so upset about Timothy that. He wouldn't live trying, it down. Yeah. And not only did they have the same idea, but blasters actually took uh, LJ hostage to actually yeah. open up the uh, safes for him. So he did everything. Oh my God! <laughs> Billy Blash is a gangster. Holy shit! He took Sunny down. He took LJ. Killed along with the hot air balloon. Oh my God! Yeah. Billy Blast is uh, he's one of them fellows that just wants to fit in anywhere he can. Right, but do you think he can be controlled? I guess is the main mm, question. He's kind of a dumbass. Control no. I don't think controlled, no. Okay. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't I don't trust him in not making some stupid mistakes. That That's... Absolute legend. Yeah, all his bank plans I've ever heard are, are quite out there. Like he wanted to do one with buffaloes. Yeah. yeah he was trying to tell me about that too. Oh, Seems like a very sure. crazy person. Um, yeah. Trying to find civilians if you can. Uh, people that are not keen to break the law all the time. Abigail? All right, yeah. People can kind of just um, work the ball or gather information and not get... a lot get... of them in Blackwater. Right. Okay. Well, we can take some from Blackwater. Because um, I think when you get to the point to where we're going to have a lot of people who are doing crime and not people enough on the outside gathering information or being our eyes and ears if anything happens. Mm. I can talk to people in True. Blackwater since I work there anyway. Where do you work at? Saloon. Oh, you still work there? Not really, no. I just say I work there. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I could go behind the bar anytime I want, because um, he trusts me. When was the last so. time you had a drink? 
probably yesterday. What kind? I like scotch. Ugh. What? Right. <laughs> it's all about beer. That's it. Yeah. The other thing about Billy Blast is uh, I, I feel like he flaps his mouth a lot. So he's, yeah. I want to be, uh, feel comfortable saying things around him like I haven't been right. in the past. Especially because he was housing Billy Joe Baba for a while. Oh, really? All right. Yep. And uh, they had the... Wait, what? Fucking, what is it? Wait, bloody, what? No way. Bloody something. Billy did that? Bloody hoods. The bloody hoods. There. Yep. Wait, so that Billy was, was around the time my face got burned. Huh. By them. Why did the bloody hoods burn your face? Billy Joe Baba put a five hundred dollar bounty on the uh, Emerald Ranch. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry for your face. It's okay. I, I grabbed the lady who did it and I took her on a camping trip and showed her how to make a proper fire. God oh, damn. So she became a candle, basically. Yeah, pretty much. And then I drug her to uh, Braithway and left her there. Who was the lady? Do you remember? Uh, Maria Gonzalez. Oh my god, that's what happened to Maria. Holy shit. She actually got uh, kicked out of the Bloody Hoods of Fire. No, right. She did that for Billy Joe after only knowing Billy Joe for two days. I mean, some relationship formed pretty fast, time. depending on what happened, right? Uh, I guess. But she was trying to get in our, our, uh, our business acting like she knew everything because she had only heard his side when he was actually in the wrong. But it, it don't matter anymore. Plus, the Bloody Hoods don't even exist anymore. Shit. Well, um, I think uh, tonight was pretty productive. We got a lot of things done. Mm -hmm. My uncle should be out tomorrow, and I don't know what kind of man I'm going to be facing tomorrow. I don't know what Solitaire has done to him. He's been there for what now? Years? Just, I don't know. It's, 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 been, just, it's been too long. All, all I ask, little piece, just don't bring up Sam at all tomorrow, please. Why? I don't give a shit about my great uncle. But, oh, dear but, Lord. Hey! You're gonna, you're gonna stir him up, uh, and he's gonna fucking hey, Rebecca. the fuck out on you. I'm just, Wait, but if he tries to go at me, I'm not gonna just back down from that. Right, but you know how you prevent that? Don't bring up Sam. Okay, but if he brings it up and I say something, it's not my fault. No, well, then fair yeah. just keep your mouth shut. I can't hear you, Rebecca. What, what are you saying? Don't talk shit about Sam. I won't allow it. Oh, well, she's spoken. Okay. <laughs> All right. I won't. I won't say anything unless I have to. You won't have to. I, why oh is everybody God. so sensitive to this topic? I don't understand. He's a dead man. We're, we're not sensitive. We're <laughs> just, you, don't you're just wor speak you're about him like that. <laughs> you're worried about Jabez freaking out on you. That's that's gonna make him freak out on you. Okay. He might be nothing to you, but he means something to other people still. Whatever. <sighs> well, that got really quiet really quick. Yeah, you can hear a fucking penny drop. Speaking of my penny, Rebecca, Rebecca I didn't song. make you mad, did I? Yeah, you did actually. Talking about change, wins more. I guarantee if you flip that coin right now, it's gonna land heads. I don't know, bad shit's happening right now. Like, go the other way. Listen, I didn't make you mad, okay? That was not my intention. I just, um. I'm just worried my uncle is gonna be thinking about revenge and not what we're trying to build out here at West. And trying to avenge somebody who's dead, there's no point. You're not gonna bring him back. I see your point on that, but you don't have to speak shit about him. Just do that. Whatever he says is about to happen. Apologies. No, I just 
flip a coin. Thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna go mine for a little bit and clear my mind of things. Y'all more than welcome to join me or stick around thieves. All right. Uh, you're mining for a little bit. You're going out towards Tumbleweed, aren't you? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around the mountains. He was around. Talk to them first, then head out west and mine. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You want, yeah, Ronnie, have a good see night. Yeah. Nice seeing you again. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Keep your nose clean. Okay. I'm ready what? to move to Tumbleweed. I said keep your nose clean. Oh, don't worry about me. I know you're built different. Exactly. Well, I think I found a long arm. It's law, but I have one. Uh, I might come down to uh, Tumbleweed later to mine too, but uh, I gotta do something before I go go down there. Eric, can I talk to you real quick before you leave? Sure. So I got your telegram. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about everything so far? Indifferent? I still feel the same. I still want to indifferent? Uh, be here. And indifferent or you still want this? Because indifferent yeah. means yes, to me I that you still you're... want this. Okay. Well, indifferent to wanting this or you feel indifferent because I'm confused now? I, I mean, like, I still want this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Just All right. Just, I'm just making sure, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um,. I will see you at the mines then. Alright, I'll I'm see safe. you then. I think this is Eleanor's rifle, actually. I'll just be too. Ariel. I'm back. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Ariel, I'll see you. Alright, who's coming with me and who's going to Tumbleweed? Uh, I'm, I, I think, think we're all going to Tumbleweed. Okay, well, I want, I want to go check the mines nearby, uh, east, and go out west. Well, Talk we with can, that? We can do that if you want. I don't mind. Are we robbing people or are we talking to Whatever you want to do. I don't care. Need a while. Sure. Do you want uh, my telegram? I got a new horse, by the way, you little bass, so you can stop complaining. Oh, man, it's not gonna make you a better rider, though. I am, I am a good rider. I, used to I really want to call. I really want to. I really want to shit on Sam Bass in front of uh, Jabass. I want to see how far I can push Jabass on CD before he pulls the trigger. I'm a great rider. How far can I push it? Didi, you, you know that you know uh, that day we got in the shootout at that house. Oh, you're talking about the one near uh, Emma Ranch, yeah. Yeah, did you know? Did you know? Uh, Winsmore here shot me down. Is that what happened? You yeah. shot me first. No, I didn't. How? We all came out of the same house. Okay, so this is what happened. I was leading the charge, right? I shotgun Brooks, put her down. Rick somehow ran past me, turned around, shot me. I thought he was law for a second. I put one bullet into him and he fell over. Okay, all right. I Rick, saw Rick, someone Rick, to my left, Rick, so I turned Rick and shot. For I didn't even hit you. No, I'm this not. This is the second time he's done this. Okay, the first time it's because Emmett was dressed like law. You shot Emmett. He was dressed like law. I was wondering what the hell is going on. I was like, how do y'all just go down so fast like that? Yeah, well, I was I fine. Probably not uh, far if it's tomorrow. Hey, so two, two slugs left in my shotgun, and then straight into Brooks, put her down, and then I ran up behind another one, shot him, and then I turned around and everyone was like, oh, You know what was heroic is when you Oh somebody's behind us all the way up. You know what was heroic is um when you when when we all got gunned down and they're trying to pick up our bodies. You rode in by yourself with the Navy, just shooting toward the law, and it just got gunned down right away. Yeah, I fucking shot, uh, what's his face? Grumpy face. Grumpy man. No, 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 the grumpy one that wouldn't tell him tell us his name because he doesn't talk to criminals. Oh, that was, um, God, what was his name? With the, it was, uh, white hair, little yeah, gentleman. White hair. Yeah, yeah, grumpy. No, not rude. No, Long no, white no, hair. No, no, no. Um. Yeah, he had like a raspberry voice. I can't remember his name. Buffalo. Buffalo. Dark oh, Sam got yeah, bit up by your own guy. group. I, 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 well, the reason why... 
Uh, CD's trying Lloyd to like. Put a bullet in my back, and then I fell on my horse. Uh, CD's trying to like stop uh, Divine or uh, Jabaz from seeking revenge for uh, Sam Bass, right? You know, I, I couldn't get away. I couldn't even if, get away um, with the whole. All your boys are dead because I wasn't. If uh, Jabaz thinking about revenge when he gets out of Cisco. That means we're gonna have to battle the law. Yeah, I said I. And yeah, battle the law equals us going we, to um, Cisco we for a long time. Fuck I said. And all the I momentum everything we built so far will place. probably, um, you know, die down or not have the same effect. And we have to start again from ground zero, you know? And so we're trying to prevent that from happening, basically. Boo hoo, that's revenge? Yeah, but revenge, a fool's man game, right? Only fools seek revenge. Only time you should shoot revenge if you weren't to uh, bury a body, right? Yourself and somebody else. Sam was a fool then? Absolutely. And that's what CD's saying. Like by CD Stone Sam, he's only trying to make the best realize he's dead. Basically, right? Um, you gotta move on. Punish with like a word? Yeah, true. <laughs> like I said, I, I didn't want to bring a character that was in a jail right away with the group. I wanted to bring a character that was very rough around the edges, was very stubborn. Um, let's go left. Wouldn't listen. Wants to do his own thing. It's very you out want to loud. Roll strawberry first. We'll see yeah, yeah, the, we can go with him. Yeah. Right. That, that was that was the plan I had. Rick, for the we character. aren't robbing rangers anymore. Uh, that's fine, but why? Uh, I don't know. Well, me and little bass talking about it. They kind of like it's like taking a gun off a kid. I have robbed rangers think. probably for the past week. Maybe five, six times. If you don't want to rob them, go ahead. But I'm not doing it. No, that's fine. I've, well, I've gotten maybe 20 me. guns off Rangers at this point. They saved me out the west the other day, so I don't know. I've got a soft spot for them now. Yeah, the last one that saved me, I gave them some money for it. It was Nathan. And oh, we have. We're, we're starting that right yeah, now. Nathan was the one that saved me. We're going to hit all the mines every single day. So nobody just wanted, right? We should be good. Now Rick is. Oh, is oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, right. if Laura approach, we just all of us go talk to the Laura and Rick. This thing going on with Scarlet Ronnie and possibly earlier right now. It feels good. Yeah, but I, I I definitely um I think it's best if we stick together. I can't honestly, her name. She had to go to the stables. Oh, Abigail. Well, the stables yeah. is this way. Chuck, look. What is coming off my horse? Why is it like this? Is that, is that sweat? Is my horse going super sane? Alright, let's go, Sable. Do we have a pickaxe? Yeah, I got a pickaxe. Oh, wait, we'll have to eventually go through Tumbleweed, so we'll be fine. Don't worry about that right now. Oh, uh, alright. Is that heat? I don't, I don't think Jabez will accept half of the recruit on uh, uh, CD. I think he'll kill half of them. But <laughs> such is life. Check the mines in Mao Chan. Two mines. Hmm. Are, we, are you guys mining or are you going to check mines to rob folk? What's going on here? We're going to be uh, checking the mines and. Check uh, them and then go out west. Right, depending who it is, I mean, if you all want to rob them, feel free. Okay. If not. Uh, we're gonna just do a little, um, you know, uh, trip and head out west and start mining, actually. Okay. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll stay with you till Tumbleweed and then I'm gonna leave my head down. Yeah, 
Abigail, you good? Uh, well, if we're not getting our pickaxes yet, then yeah, I'm fine. Okay, all right, all right. Then let's head to uh, the first uh, mine nearby over here, then. Is uh is moving on is constantly mocking someone who's free for. Oh uh, yeah, true, 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 true. Not wrong about that. But chat, come on, dude. Isn't it great being able to play a different character while shitting on the same character you used to play? I haven't had that experience before until now. So I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the journey. Oh my god, your window bar is so cluttered, it's killing my eight. After all, what's wrong with it? Howdy. Over here to the left is where Will is smacking me with his rifle. I'll never forget that day. Hey, Will. Well, wolves, 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 wolves. Come this way. We're good. We're probably good. across the path that's right over there. Straight ahead. Oh, we should be good. No horses. I uh, said the one in Big Valley. Do you want to call mine too? Do people actually mine there? I yeah. Uh, one lead the way, Rebecca. I'm not sure to go that one. Right. My girl's bringing McDonald's breakfast home with her. Bog. Oh my God, that sounds amazing, man. That sounds amazing. What's like the best item you can get in from McDonald's in the UK? Stone. I love watching YouTube videos of like different countries for like different restaurants and like seeing what kind of specialty food they have. That's pretty cool. Uh, just normally, I guess. No horses. Probably nobody here, I'm assuming. Yeah, I've never been here before. Okay. Let's check the really? one in Big Valley. Yeah, it's my first time being here. Mm -hmm. I just saw a video of someone making that homemade McGriddle. It looks so good. Really? Dude, I watch um, I watch those TikTok videos where they make the food all the time. Oh, it makes me so hungry. The way that you know, like they show you like the final product to start of like the video. And how they get there, oh my god, it's like art. It's like absolute art. Oh, 
Oh, let's go right. Actually, I show him right. Alright. Gotta go more right. Yeah, more right, more right, more right. Yeah. Gotta head towards north. Pretty much just go back to the trail. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that trail, um, there's like a, there's one up here, but I was wrong. Can't believe I just got RP incest checked. Listen, blame... Who plays the motherfucker, by the way? I love that man. He's one funny-ass dude. Plays him. And if you have a stream, please show him plenty of love. Rizzo, absolute pleasure role-playing with you again. Wagon. You're all an awesome dude, man. I appreciate that. I really hope we run to that son of a bitch. That padlock guy. The one that they, they tried to charge uh, for a robbery and strawberry. That was him. Oh, that's him? That was him, that son of a bitch. Can't wait to find him. He's gonna regret the day he was born. Unruly? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> no horses. Hmm. I'm telling y'all, maybe we need a team of miners in our group. I like mining. I'll be the only way at this point. Miss y'all, I'm really happy you guys got a group going on in the bayou. That's such an immersive area. We have a plan for that. What is it? You don't well, want to share it yet? Well, I can. We're, when we're, we're after we push the top hand out like we're planning, we're trying to hunt the bears there. Let's uh, kill a bear. Is the bear there? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Direction? Look east. Dead? Bear? Fuck it, money. That's what I'm saying. You beat me to it. Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, it's dying. Oh, that makes me so sad. It's dead. Oh, that makes me so sad. Ah, you really chased that bear, huh? Yeah. I don't have a knife, so it's all you. <laughs> don't have a knife, too. Just yeah, I just got an assist Anybody got a knife? <laughs> Abigail, you should have a knife, right? Oh, I do. I have one, but I don't really want it. There's money. I'm too lazy. Um, yeah, the idea is once we push Time Pan out, we're gonna. We're out. We just got their prices and what they, they give people for mining. And we're gonna uh, pay the people a little bit more to come down and mine and we'll give them security. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that was my plan with our East Mines is to flush people out west to make that trip so we can talk to them easier that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to anything. We just, I just want to get them out of the west first before I even think about start any mining stuff. Oh, uh, there's a butcher in your pocket. Come over, just sell it there. I don't know, for some reason, I don't like having a gun on my back as a, as an outlaw. I, I just feel like, um, to me, like, when I picture, like, a cowboy or an outlaw, I picture, like, gun slinging, double revolver, like a revolver. I think that's, like, I hate, like, a long arm. Can I only use it if I have to against the law or, like, a shootout. But, like, um, to me, like... Running with no uh, uh, long arm, it feels more immersive for me. That's why I just store it. Where 
Alright, that was fifteen dollars. Does anybody know? Uh Lucas is pretty broke, so you probably give it to him. Oh, look, did you buy a new horse? Oh, yeah. Thank I God. gave him that one. Oh, did you? For a hundred dollars. That would have... What could you use that horse last night, honestly? <laughs> what do you mean? I got cut off by six law fucking... Yeah, if, you had a, if you had a better horse that had a full gallop, it would have been different. Yeah. No, because I got cut off. Right, but you would have made some grounds up better horses. I was right behind you. That's how I found you at the theater. I wish we had dual revolvers in the server, man. I thought we did, did we not? Let me ask y'all something. It's a random question, but um, are you able uh, to purchase a double revolver? I don't think so. I, never I know it was a double action, but I would love to walk into a saloon with two uh, revolvers in my hand. Yeah, I don't I think you can do that. that. Only a new manufacturer brings it in. That would be nice. It is called the. Italy that is one thing I, I would love to see more in Wild RP is definitely more guns. Not too many. If you get too many, it gets crazy, right? So right now, like, yeah, the closest guns are pretty good, right? An extra one on you. Yeah, you can do that. But I think it's better to have a long arm and one fucking gun. One six shooter. Fucking horses don't smack you. Yeah, hey, uh, if y'all uh, see a guy by the name of uh, Finnegan, let me know, okay? I'm looking for him. Finn? Finnegan? Finnegan? Finnegan. He sounds like. Uh, hi, guys! Uh, how's it going? Something like that. Sounds like Benny, but like more of a, a weaker version. Oh, is he, is he, is he slow or is he young? Is he's pretty young. I think he told me he's 18. He's like me. What, what do you have? Uh, apparently. What, what, what are you looking for him for? He went to the law and stitched on me for kidnapping him when I um, never really kidnapped him. I just took him on my horse and we went somewhere and talked and somehow he took as a threat. I told him, if you tell the law what happens, I'm coming after you. So I got a charge of kidnapping. I feel like a lot of people don't really take a threat seriously around the crossing. That's exactly my point. I didn't hurt him. I, I took him somewhere near them in Tekka Falls. Never robbed him, never hurt him. I showed him the outlaw test. I tried to make him an outlaw because he wanted to be one when I first met him. Then all of a sudden he changed his mind and wants to be a lawman. Hmm. like a challenge. Ooh. Absolute fool. Cool. Wait, is that Maverick? Is all? Oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna head out west. I was in Chick Valentine to head out west. Valentine doesn't have mine. Oh, not Valentine. Sorry, not the mine. Um, there's one more mine nearby, right? Where's that Ansberg? It's Ansberg. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, we're not gonna go there. Yeah. yeah. The Elysian Caves. Where people can go. Alright. Stop by Blackwater and then go out west. Two telegrams there. I really hope strangers are around. Yeah, he was thinking of mine. That's like Asperg wing. Uh, let's go this way. The Elysian pool cave, yeah. Yeah, I wish I Leo didn't tell him. What, wait, I still gotta pay him on Leo. That's right, I forgot about that. Most of the long arms with the Captain the horses these days, not on the one that's back. Exactly. That's why I'm like, I'm hoping there's like an update that comes in. Oh, sorry. Where you can see the, the like, if I have like a bull action on my horse, you can see it hanging off like the horse's saddle, right? That way, if Law is looking for a weapon, they know they see one. If somebody wants to rob you of a weapon, you can't really hide you in your horse. Because right now, like, horses, horse's inventory feels like an um, invisible pocket. Obviously, it's got some pros and cons, right? But I think it would add a lot of immersion, in my opinion. Right. 
Did I ever tell you that pretty boy, uh, Ruth, compared himself to the Chinzo? What in tarnation? Why would he do that? He said, look, I kind of look like Oliver, and he put on a black hat. Who's Oliver? Uh, pretty so sure the fucking annoying to Chinzo. <laughs> ah, damn, Rebecca, what did you do to you? Wait, you just say you saw all of them? He was in the war against us. Oh, I see, I see. Him and your uncle used all to right. have this weird flirting thing going on every fight. Flirting? What the hell? Yeah. I mean, it was a joke thing, but they used to tell each other that they have pretty nipples or something. So that's okay, but I can't ask if people are fucking. Let me show you my favorite route to Blackwater. Come up here, come up this way, come this way, come this way. Why are they going that way? Okay. I'm stubborn, so I'm going this way. This there and debase our tit sizes, man. That's okay. But God forbid I ask a family of cousins in the morning if incest is like happening in their family. I'm gonna check my telegrams. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello, Hello howdy. Oh, Scarlet's around. Me? Sorry, oh, no, send me telegram. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, Miss. Miss, I walked out. What's your name? Miss? What's your name? Huh? Sorry? Oh, what is your name? Maddie. Have we met before? I feel like we have. I just don't remember. What's your name? CD, Charles Devon? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'll bring you to Hello. Blackwater. Hi. Uh, I'm just coming here. Okay. Why'd you come here? Because I felt like it. Okay. That's it? Mm hmm. So it was. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what do you feel right now? Hmm. Like asking you some questions. Okay, go ahead. What brought you to Blackwater? Check my telegrams. That's why oh. I'm at a telegram station. I see. But like, that's why you came to Blackwater? Yeah, that's exactly it, actually. It was on the way. Conveniency. Mm -mm -mm. That makes sense. Are you having a good day? No. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what would make my day better, actually? Some food? No. Uh, Try again. Mm. What kind of gun is on your waist right now? In my waist? You said that was yeah. 10 gun law in town? It's a Schofield. Mm. Uh, what about you, miss? What is that? Have we met before? I think we have, actually. I recognize your That's voice. That's a navy in hers. Duh. Weren't you the lady we robbed outside of Rhodes? Yet. What does that mean? No. No? Are you sure? I would remember getting robbed by you, but no, I've actually been near when you've robbed other people that I know. <laughs> How do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Well, you know. You do what you do, apparently. Okay. And what is it you do? I am a ranger. <laughs> Damn it. I wish you'd tell me that part. 
You ask me what I do. Yeah, I don't rob rangers. Not after so what happened. Come on. Not for a Schofield. All right, take care, Maddie. Hey, um, Maddie. If you have any more questions, yeah. my telegram will be FA344. Sure. Uh, there's about 10 lawmen plus pretty boy in town. They're coming. They're all coming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who's one? <laughs> Nobody's one here. One, right? We're probably yeah, all one. You? Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's... I'm not wanted. Hello. Can we help you? Howdy, folks. Howdy. How y'all doing? Just switch your brooks! Howdy. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill Aurora. I'm literally gonna kill Aurora. Can we help you? I'll tell you what, I'm not entirely uh, uh, caught up in exactly why we are stopping you, but we are stopping you at this moment. Oh. Oh lord have mercy. I'm a free man, I'm an innocent man. I didn't do it. You're wanted right now, you're wanted for 70 days in four. How am I wanted? I haven't done shit! You am. What have I done? You, I literally witnessed you rob somebody and then hit them with a revolver. Oh. I robbed him. Are you sure about that? Positive. Man, you gotta get your eyes checked. Because it was definitely not I me. I literally witnessed it. You wanna come in peacefully, Charlie? Huh. <laughs> <Back alone>. <laughs> <laughs> now you make me laugh, Ruth. I'll give you that. In the grand scheme of things, Mr. Divine. And who are robbed? Mr. Ruth? Witnessed you robbed the man with the, uh, the ponytail what, on a building. Does the man have a name? Yeah. What is it? It's his birth name. Is this a thing that you expect us to give out? Well, yeah, you know, you, know you tell me what's going on. I tell you if I'm innocent or not. You see that building over there, Charles? Across in the saloon. Yeah, what about it? There's buildings everywhere in Blackwater. Yeah, you so I surrounded the sheriff's office when I was in alone and were like taunting me, trying to get me to come outside. And then you Nobody was taunting you, we're trying to have a civil conversation, okay? Sorry to take it so defensive. Up under the roofs and I watched you over this way robbing a man. And then I watched you hit him with a revolver. So you can do the woe is me and not, not take a single action, not, not take a single ounce of accountability whatsoever. What accountability are you talking about? Listen, if I smack somebody with my revolver, they probably deserved it. Well, deserving or not, it is against the law. What if he asked for it? What if he literally said, Charles Devine, please smack me in the head with your revolver? Yeah, and I did it. What's wrong with that? Uh, that's still assault and battery. Is it? And if you give me consent? Good mental health asking to be beaten around the head with a Some of people just got some loose screws in their head. They just need to just knock it around a little bit. You know, I'm inclined to agree, but that don't change the letter of the law, I'm afraid, Mr. Divine. Right, and what does the law state exactly? So I'm aware. Certainly. Let's like very well on you for any charges we look at. It's pretty minor. Drop in the bucket. <sighs> Alright. Is that alright if I place my gun on my horse and come with you peacefully? Is your gun stolen, Mr. Divine? <laughs> Depends who's asking. Sheriff Rabbit Winward of the Saints Cross Department. Um, let me check. So on one hand, I might prove you to tell me it's not stolen. It's got an etch. Uh, what does it say? Property of something. I forgot. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to uh, keep that in your home in that case, because I don't want to have to search your whole stuff. You got me? Okay, but it's a gun, right? You want me to turn myself in? I'll turn myself in. Um, in exchange, I keep my gun. It depends on if the gun is a property of SDSD weapon or not, I suppose. How about you flip a coin for it, okay? I flip a coin for it? Yeah. As in heads, you keep the gun, tails, you lose the gun? Correct. What if I flip a coin, and heads, I take the gun, and tails, you don't get charged for uh, possession of government property? Ah. <sighs> 
Son of a bitch. Sounds like they're taking it either way. I'm just saying. You gotta do I run? What do I do here? Well, Turn myself in. No, it's not it's worth running here. Right, let's just get this over and done with. Alright. Rebecca. You're also wanted. She's not wanted. Yes, she is. I'll take her time and whatever fun. Okay. It's fine. No let's Maybe we let's just get this over with. Right. Come on. In the office. Ruth, you really pissed me off. Right. You know that? What's your name, man? Third one. You really pissed me off. It's alright, CD. Come on. Yeah. Are you Abigail? Nice to see you again, Abigail. Hey, Mr. in the red vest, what's your name? Winsmore, we've met many times. He's a oh, part of the Boons boys. Hello. How are you? Not too bad, huh? Careful, if you get close, I might spit in your face. Okay, and now, uh, you think I'm not petty enough to add assault and battery of a peace officer? <laughs> That's your fault for you riding next to me. Ago. If you were right so close while I'm trying to, um... Spit. That's on you. Okay, Sin. Try it. Hey, uh, Benny. You, you saw what he said. He said try it, okay? He's he's tempting me. Do it. It's, You'll go to it ain't worth it. It's not days. worth it, CD. Come on. This is not a moment to tempt fate, Charles. <laughs> you know that. I... Uh, Charles, if you, if you do this and then you get charged for it, you will actually bitch and moan in a cell. <laughs> What's the last time I bitch and moaned? Literally every single time. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk to your sheriff though. Every single time. <laughs> hey, uh, Sheriff Rabbit, I'd like to make a complaint. Once you're in the cells, I'll be happy to listen. To All right, so sounds good. Another one? Uh, yeah. Actually, um, I've been talking to a lot of folks in the cross, and I said, listen. Lawman does you wrong. Don't get him down. Just make a complaint with the sheriff. They'll take it seriously. Y'all welcome, okay? Y'all welcome. Kind of tight. Make a lot of my days shorter. Can I at least put my pickaxe away? Pickaxe? Yeah, I was gonna go mining. I can walk in. You're not to cuff me. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't hear what she said. Put your hands up. I'm not gonna she was just that. complaining about not being cuffed, and she's not being cuffed anyway. I'm talking, I'm talking about Sheriff Rabbit. Oh. I, I don't need your your pickaxe, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I could pick my way out of the cell. <laughs> That's very funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm going to take Rebecca's pickaxe just for that, Charles. I'm going to want it back. back. Yeah, I'll give it back. Yeah, already. You are free to head inside. All right, nice and easy. <sighs> you know, Mr. Divine, I was really hoping we could, you know, wait a little while before we saw you again. Yeah, your stubble hasn't even grown. Really? I, I mean, I'm in the same boat. You think I, I want to be here? I told myself I should not be here, but sometimes God give his um you know, toughest war is the hardest battle, right? And tries to hardest test them. Mm -hmm. Try to rob a man and beat him with your pistol? No, you don't understand. Okay? Some people just see guns and uh, they think it's a good opportunity to get lippy with you. So you gotta teach them a lesson. I don't think you gotta <sighs> do anything. Right. Well, you should dealt with them. You should do everything. Uh, I would like I, to make a complaint though. Uh, but I do have a, I do have a genuine question, Charles. This isn't me being snarky, but uh, what, what do you define as being lippy, can I ask? Uh, well, I mean, um, how do I describe it? Yeah, not caring like for their gotta, life at all. Right, you got a gun to their head and they, they start talking shit back at you. Absolutely, like yeah. They think they're in well. control, they, they're not scared of the gun, mm, okay. and they well, can't I... even give their name to me, so I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure they understand that, you know what? If you wanna fuck around, there'll be consequences. I think I can empathize with uh, being frustrated by that situation. I've certainly been in situations where... Uh, I got five lawmen on one person, and that person doesn't seem to, you know, care. About oh, is that so, or, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think I can kind of relate to what you're talking about. That guy's a fool, you know, by the way. What's that? 
Never mind. The guy is a fool? Is that what you said? Yes, the person you're talking about. No, <laughs> I see. I, I wasn't know. talking about anyone in particular, for the record. I was, uh... Well, the person you're talking about, about, right? The senator you brought up? I just think that's foolish. Okay, I see. This, oh, yeah, the theoretical person's a fool. I got it. No. Okay. Um, speaking of fools, there's one standing in front of me named Senior Deputy Ruth. Yeah, y'all should head inside. I, um, I was riding my horse back to the mm -hmm. Blackwater Sheriff's Office. He's, uh, I'm complying. I'm not trying to give you too much of a hard time. And, um, sometimes... No. I, uh... My throat, um, it, <clears> throat> just got to spit my saliva out, right, sometimes, right? So, I told Ruth that I'm, it don't get close to me because I want to spit, right? Right. And then he started getting lippy with me. He started saying that if I spit next to him, it's going to be assault and battery and a public servant. And he dares me to try it. So, I'm just here you know, being all calm and peaceful and trying to... Be all collective, but there's Ruth over there trying to uh, tempt me to uh, do something that I'm gonna regret, and I just don't appreciate that. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you claimed Kennedy escalated a situation in which he didn't. Seems like you're spending too much time with him. <laughs> see. Uh, Sheriff, I was there, and the intent with Ruth's statement was simply to tell him if he doesn't believe it uh, you know to try it but it wasn't enticing him to do it it was just the only no, no, thing no, I, with all I due respect uh, there's collusion going on between benny and ruth well that's not true at all so you'd like really? to expand this complaint to include deputy benny as well i think so i think he's in on it okay all right i'll i'll note that in my paperwork <laughs> thank you about time somebody cares what about kennedy uh no complaints so far not what yet. about me uh, not yet. Unless you give me a reason. Do you see any other deputies in the office I gotta take a complaint on? Real no, quick. Uh, no, 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 no. But, like I said, I'm not right. getting down in law. How, just... how, would you, how would you rate your experience with me so far? So far, so good. I mean, you took the one on the rip, the, the rip complaint, right? And, um, you took the one Wait, I so took... We're the only two that got complaints? Was it in yeah, Sydney yeah. or was it in Strawberry? I forgot. That was, in, that was in Strawberry. You know, I did mean you know, I wanted to talk about that, that uh, I'm more than happy to, to talk to you folk. Uh, you know, even if you do happen to be wanted at the time, I mean, it's, it's not the best situation, but I can make it work. I do appreciate not being corralled, though, in future. It would uh, make me feel a lot more safe, you know? Yeah, unlike you, oh, uh, sorry, no, um, unlike Ruth, uh, you actually came out and talked to us in peace. Ruth just hid inside, pulled out his neighbor when revolver, and then starting to... Before, I'm not going to come outside. Okay, well, let me finish. I'll give you that respect, please. Yeah, he started rolling. He started loading up his revolver with with bullets, and we were just using our words. Unbelievable. I'm just saying, to well, Deputy Ruth, that's... okay. Sometimes not worth it. You know, I never passed along the uh, Kennedy complaint to a sheriff yet. If you want to go ahead and give that complaint as well. Yeah, I'll take that. I, I can I can compile that on the same folder. That works. I would like to make another complaint on top of that of him not actually doing his job and relaying the complaint of my complaint. I, I haven't seen uh, sure. Yeah, that's that'll be noted in the margin. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't don't try and weasel out of that one, Ruth. I'll put that in the margin. Don't you worry. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, you might as well go ahead and uh, make the Kennedy complaint now. Well, for okay, God, does, it's does, your fault. Does Miss Does Miss Lang have any complaints? Nope. Didn't get, I got your name right? Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if we've actually met in our God not, damn so. it! How are we yeah, in this cell? Rebecca Lang. Rebecca Lang, okay. Okay, so, uh... You just give me one second. And I'll be right back with you, and we can, uh, we can work this out. Unless someone's already looking at these charges. Oh my god, I lost my Schofield. Huh. With all these complaints, you'd think there's a joke about a gene pool and a lifeguard somewhere in there. I heard you, Benny. Oh, what? I heard you, Benny. Oh, uh, sorry. Mm, better be. Yeah, Benny. I'm Come closer. Sorry. You're not really sorry, Benny? What? Oh, man. Come closer, Benny. I got something to say that will piss you off. Trust me. Uh, try me. You know that girl you're on a date with? I won on a date. Uh, Georgie, Georgia, what was her name? Morgana, what was her name? Oh, fuck. Morgana, yep, yeah, you got it. No. 
Oh, Morgana. Well, yep, yeah, yeah, that's her name. Morgana. Uh, Georgina. Georgina. That's what it was. Morgana Georgina. Yep. I love that girl. Charles, sorry. I don't think that's any of your business. You sure about that? Because I need you to get stronger. And I feel like you being with that girl will make you weaker. So I'm thinking about something here pretty soon. The key for mm. Something that will pest you, Benny. Something that will place yeah. you Benny, in I'm a difficult a position. So we won't have to decide between life or death. Benny, I hope you'll you be ready. For for a second? Can you put your hands up? I just want to search one more time. No. Charles. Come inside. Come on. Put your hands up. <laughs> I will cuff you if I need to. Benny can search me, but not you. Okay, Benny, search him, please. Get my damn pickaxe. Why do you have so much hay on it? Uh, I bought it from uh, Ganesh. Ganesh. Do, do you eat it? No, I feed it to my horse. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Wow. I thought you took a whole step down there. Oh, boy. That's... <sighs> Your sanity's still intact. <laughs> really, Benny? making jokes like that I'm sure you'll make those jokes it wasn't a joke yeah it, it was a pure concern why do you care about me i'm a lost cause anyways uh, charles if you want me to be honest you're not a lost cause you can't save me benny you can't save me oh well, i know i can't only you could save yourself exactly. i'm not an idiot so save that for um uh, yes, sir. georgie i think that's her name she should need some saving. Why do you soon. keep bringing her up? Because, Benny, I have to push you to your limits. Yeah, don't forget about that. I have yeah, to make you stronger. Experience? That's all you need. That will shape you. That will truly test you to see who you are. That's my job. Okay, so, um, as possible. Well, why would you even want to bring her into this, though? Because it what involves you, done? that's why. Well, because she's close to you. <laughs> oh, um, Rebecca, we're uh, just talking that's about... Fine. I'll just write her off. <laughs> what? No. You're supposed to fall in love with her. And have a family one day. And then that's where I come in. And turn that dream into a nightmare. CD. <laughs> well, then I'm going to foil your plans. And I'm never going to write her another telegram. Uh, okay. Good. I want you to be ex expecting me. That's the whole point. Listen. Okay, regardless of everything. Rebecca? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Benny. Never mind. You're lucky. Uh, to be continued. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I've worked out a deal. Uh, I just want to hear how you think this sounds. I'm going to waive the possession charge entirely because the pistol got returned to us you know compliantly very kind of you, oh, uh, thank you. i'm gonna i'm gonna match your time to what rebecca's got because she's got about half your charges so you'll both get out of here and uh under i really days. appreciate that see ruth learn from the, from the sheriff <laughs> oh ruth very much signed off on that i, I, I very much idea. assisted with this yeah you, you're sheriff rabbit this, you did all the work do not i don't well, okay. Alternatively, you can. Sorry, this still also includes you. I need your your uh, your permission as well. If if he would rather take separate time served, I I can't reduce his for the same amount. I just thought it'd be nice and clean, and yeah, you all to get out together. I'd like reduced charges, please. You'd like reduced charges, Rebecca? Yeah. What? He can have some reduction too, but it shouldn't be. He gets reduction, I get fuck all. I see. I see. I mean, I, I was trying in, to. I, I was came trying in nicely, to... didn't I? No, no, no. I, I agree with you. I was, I was right. trying to collectively bargain. I just thought that it's your fault, Ruth. Jump at, but, uh... <laughs> but you know, uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's work it out. How much reduction was that going to be total, Ruth? It's like 35, 30, 40 days reduction. Give yeah, me a minute, like, sorry if I don't like, hear anything. It was thirty-five days reduction, not counting the time served. 
All right, let's uh, it's not twenty five off each if I'm gonna call it a day. All right, twenty five days off each, and then the time served as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So Rebecca will get fined and walk out. I can process her. Yep. Yeah, that's Rebecca. fine. Rebecca's gonna walk out here. Honestly, the law has been right, really nice to us today. I'll, I'll handle the, the law has been really nice to us lately. Is everything okay between you two? I, I don't want to cause any rifts, like uh, in your uh, personal. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And well, she's like a sister to me. Okay. Well, she's like a you holy sister. Holy sister? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Like a nun? No, like uh, like I, like okay. she's like a goddess to me, but but like more like a sister. Divine sorority, okay, I'll uh... Something like that, yeah, actually. I like that, I might take that. Care for Evan. I thought divines were all uncles and nephews. Well, there might be a sister a coming pretty soon. That's scary family tree. It's horizontal. It's mm. mostly branches. Yeah. And you know what happens to a branch? Right. right. We can come out. What the fuck happens to a branch? It falls off the tree, dumbass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Sadie. Next time, don't mention her name. What? <laughs> yeah, see, I knew. Rebecca, I was... come back, please. See, I, I, I knew I was causing a rift. Ruth, look what you've done. This is your fault. It's my fault? No, it's Ruth. Sheriff Rabbit. Oh, okay. You do no wrong. I can I can do couples counseling if y'all need or, or uh, sibling oh, counseling. As no, the case may be. it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna probably get my ass kicked when I leave the cell, so I'm gonna just brace myself for it. Okay, all right. What the hell happened? What have I done? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you uh, robbed and assaulted a man, and uh, you also are hold on. Oh, you meant that. You're, you're, oh, you're gonna be released you. at 3:35 a.m. Charles. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Yep. So I'm bad. stuck with you guys. Great. Yeah. So, uh, who wants to play a game of ball? Ball? Is that like cash? Or? I learned that in Cisco, where you turn um, an inmate into a ball and you just throw him around. You turn it. Well, you're the only inmate. Well, I mean, we can pretend. Pretend I'm an inmate? Sure. It's been a long time since I was an inmate. Mm. Wait. You've been to Cisco before as an inmate? I certainly have. Really? Long time ago now. Huh. What made you change? Well, I just kept making complaints and, uh... In the end, I, yeah, I, 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 I saw so much positive improvement. I felt I had to be part of it. <sighs> what? I'm going down the same path. Uh, in reality, I had a lot of folk around me that were steering me away from. Uh, I'm not going to say a path of violence because that that is unfortunately the reality of the position I hold. But certainly a path of mercy at the very least, when I can afford to. That makes sense. I tried. I tried the game of revenge, and uh, there's no winners in that game. So I tried something else. See, I'm trying to tell my uncle that. He doesn't understand. He wants revenge. Oh, <laughs> John Devine? I'm trying to convince him. <laughs> well, <laughs> revenge is a real tricky business. It's like holding on to a hot coal. You gotta pass it to somebody else. Yeah, and... If he goes on this path of revenge, I'll probably lose him. I don't want to lose my uncle. I want to use yeah, him, not lose him. him. Use him, not lose him? Yeah. What do you What do you mean by that, out of curiosity? Well, my uncle, um, he's from the West, and, um, you know, um, I got some plans, and I want him to be part of it, so I can't have him die. Are these plans that I'm allowed to know, or is this more like secret, like, background? I think you'll see plans? it. I think you'll see it soon enough. Well, that's ominous. Well, not in a way to where the law will get hurt, but more of, um... It's one of those things where it won't happen overnight. Time will tell. I think when you see a lot of folks going out west, a lot of caravans, wagons, campsites, you'll know. You're trying to build up New Austin again, huh? Well, I can't do it by myself. It's a, it's a collective no, effort. Nobody can. I'll tell you that. It takes a village or three. 
I'm a sheriff in New Austin. I love that place very, very much. Yeah, same here. It used to be lively, thriving, truly. That's my plan. I'm not trying to focus on outlaws, but other civilians as well that can live out west. You know, it's entirely possible we could come to an understanding. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if um, everybody sees the law the way I see it. So it's just it's all about perspective at the end of the day. So it's hard convincing people that. I get it. I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, there have been many groups that have tried to build up that place before. And the mistake they always made was that they thought they could control New Austin. How long is uh, jail time in LP? One minute is one month. Not by anyone, not by law, not by outlaws. It's a place where you got to learn to coexist. And there's a place out there for all sorts of folk, yourself included, most likely. But there's got to be a bit of give and take. In the old days, I didn't mind so much what folk got up to as long as it didn't happen in the towns. When it happened in the towns, that's when I got very ugly. And that's when bullets started flying. That's not me saying carte blanche right around the countryside robbing folk left and right, but it is me saying. As, as attractive as it is to live a life free from law, if you're all right. I understand that completely. One way or another, you're still tethered to society. So... Find a part of it that works for you and try to get along with it best as possible. And in the words of my father, a good parasite never kills the host. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was never trying to be an outlaw. just find my place being one. I don't know. Well, that's understandable. Everyone's looking for a place. And I was like, I was telling folks, hmm? being an outlaw doesn't mean... You're always against the law. It's just maybe you live outside of it. That's all. Well, my perception of it is that being an outlaw means that you commit to a different code than the one that we commit to. It's that you reject the law of society and you try to build something of your own. Something that you have a mutual understanding of with the folk that you're riding with. Hmm. And if that code avoids hurting innocent people and it avoids hurting law folk... I don't really got a problem with it. New Austin turned into a slugging match for all sorts of different gangs, but as long as they fought each other and not civilians, I uh, was inclined to let it happen. Didn't make it any more legal, mind you, but... There's no need for innocent folk to get caught in the crossfire, is there? That's how I feel. I mean, I only hurt people that hurt me. That's how I see it. Well, tit for tat, certainly an approach. Eye for an eye makes the whole world go blind, but then the one-eyed man is king, so who knows? Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to bring something different. But like I said, it takes a collective effort to um, get it done. So, we'll see. You know, maybe um, maybe I'll fail. And I'll be, um, you know, hanged or executed here pretty soon. Who knows? Or maybe I might succeed and go down the history books and reach immortality. Glory and fame. <laughs> immortality and death, huh? Well, immortality... It doesn't mean you escape death. It's just you live on for a long time in history books, right? That's the true That's meaning right. of immortality. Yeah, you do die three times after all. You know, have you ever heard the saying that sharks are like the criminals of the sea and dolphins are the outlaws? I have to compare myself to a dolphin. I think I'm pretty close to one. I've never heard that before, actually. That is a, that's a brand new sentence that I've never heard before. <laughs> yeah, let it sink in. Race is a broke. If you... <laughs> you know, uh, there's a lot of good people that would go to New Austin if they didn't live in fear of all the armed forces out there. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of ways to bring lifeblood to a place, but citizens is first and foremost. The reason you don't see law too often in New Austin is because there ain't no folk for us to protect there. Not most of the time, anyway. 
There's going to be. I mean, look at the folks at McFarland's, right? The people in Armadillo, uh, thieves. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see a much uh, different, uh, you know, folks out there. More lively folks. Not the one that just uh, out there gunning and slinging, right? But just yeah. they want to live their life. They enjoy the West, the atmosphere, and everything about it. That is my plan. I'm not trying to dream for myself, but others too. Well, that's what I hope to see again one day. Maybe we can turn Armadillo into Valentine. That would be a dream of mine. Hmm. As in a, a thrive and bustle in town? I'd love yeah. to see it like that again. Yeah. That would I mean, mean the world to me, actually. All right. Well, um, I don't want to promise anything because I don't let you down, but that is my goal. Well, I can't promise you anything either other than I wish you the best of luck. And uh, talking's usually preferable to fighting if you can afford it. That's why I file complaints. All right. Well, I'm going to go take a look at some paperwork, but uh, there's plenty of deputies here. I'm sure someone can keep you entertained for a little bit. Oh, that's fine. I think there's a um, piece of meat in this bucket. I might eat real quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, uh, that's it's your call. <laughs> Yeah, um, I want to make or sure Mr. Divine, Divine, I can give it's you right here. You don't see it? I'm just gonna pick it up right now. I'll look at that. Okay. Somebody left it behind. Uh, Mr. Divine, yeah, we met yesterday, Eliana mm -hmm. Rivers. Yeah, in the bathhouse when we were trying to rob the place. Just right. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank uh, you for letting uh, you let my friend leave with me. She's been through a lot, so I greatly appreciate that. Please don't thank me, I don't want to have a heart. Why not? Because that means I have to care. Mm. I mean, there might be some meat in it. I only did it because you're a lawman, that's it. And like I said, I don't go after law unless I have to. Understood. Well, I hope you know. I spent a long time uh, on the other side of the law. And, uh... I don't think you're a bad person. <laughs> uh, thank you for saying that, but... Like I said, I am a bad person. Okay. Well, you don't always have to be. And, uh, okay. hopefully, uh, you know, right. I know we're on opposite sides of some things, but I hope you know I will always treat you with as much respect as I can. Appreciate that. Absolutely. I'll be honest, I don't look when people are nice to me. It makes me angry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then this is going to make you even angrier. Don't say it, Benny. Do not say it. Uh, the reason I know that you're a good person, you want to be bad, but you're actually good. I want to be bad? You're not going to go after Georgie. I know you're not. Well, that's her name, Georgie. Okay, perfect. You already said it. What the hell's wrong I with I wasn't you? sure if it's Georgiana, Georgie, Morgana, uh, Jojo. You knew her name. Let's not play games, Mr. Divine. Well, if you love her so much, you'll find out soon enough. Sadie, for fuck's sake, not Georgie. <laughs> it's not my fault. He brought it up. I told you she's fucking off limits. <laughs> you don't have to worry. He's yeah. not going to do it anyway. She's off limits. I don't think you're that kind of person, Charles. <laughs> he is, but she's off limits. She's off limits. No, I don't think you're going to do it either way. Rebecca, he's challenging me, okay? <laughs> He's challenging me. Benny. Uh, I'm not challenging you. But she's off limits. Why is she off limits? Because, because I've known we've her said... for a really fucking long time, and I care about her, so you're not touching her. Okay. Benny, that's me first. What is the difference between her dying of old age and me killing her? Uh, the difference is that you did it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get mad at God when she dies of, you know, of old time? No. How is that fair? How is that fair? Because I don't fucking believe in God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Find a different way, CD. Not Georgie. <sighs> See what I deal with? See what I deal with every single day, okay? I can't live free. I just can't do it. You're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. Thank you, um, Rebecca. <laughs> Alright. Do you need any food or water? 
I'm good, thank you. Actually, I could use some water. Enjoy. How are we going to make Benny the greatest show for Rhodes if we don't kill the girl he loves, okay? I want to kidnap uh, Georgie. I'm gonna still going to do it. I think, I think I'm going to ruin um, CD's relationship with Rebecca. I'm going to do it. Okay. I think I want to see what Rebecca does if I hurt Georgie. I think we have to find out, right? Come on, chat. We have to find out. I'm not gonna go out of my way on uh, CD do it, but I'm gonna actually like uh, wait for the opportunity. Like I'm waiting for like the stars to line up, kind of thing. We have to test to see if Rebecca is willing to hurt CD. And then we put Jabas in a difficult position picking between his nephew and Rebecca. <laughs> Can you imagine? TD kills, I mean, Rebecca kills TD, right. and then Jabaz kills Rebecca, and he loses two people he cares about. I would definitely promise you to Rebecca, 100%. Arm or something. I would definitely do it. That would be such a, an ugly way to go out for like, oh my god, dude, can you imagine? That would be crazy, no? Man, they never give me goddamn um utensils. Why? You guys gonna kill CD way before that talking bad about Sam? Yeah, probably. Oh my god. How do you cadet? Hi. How's you not going so far? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Why is it pretty yeah. good? Uh, I learned a lot. Bullshit. Ha why would I lie? I don't know, because I don't know you. Okay, okay. Why name one thing you've learned that? today. The first thing I do is lie. Name one thing you learned today. Um, I learned that I can take statements, okay? And I learned a couple things about how to lead a group of people. So I did learn. Wait. Huh. You know, really? I feel like I've seen you my entire cadet journey. I think that you're probably going to see me become a deputy. And, and it'll be like, we did this together. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. There's no together, okay? Unless... Well, You've been here the whole time. You want to break the me out? The entire time. If you break me out, then we become together. But well, if you no, watch me sit there and rot in the cell. That's, that's the fastest way for you to lose a job. I don't want to do that. Here's about the badge. Why, why do you even sign up to be a lawman or a law woman? Because mm, the money is good and because I get to talk to people. The money is good. There's plenty of other opportunities with less risk than, um, you know, being a law woman. I don't know about that. There is. I mean, heck, you can probably go to the mine and make more money than a lumen. Mm, but it's more than that. It's not just the money. It's also, it's the people. The people. And mm -hmm. why place yourself in the service role to where you're supposed to serve other people in the crossing when they clearly don't give a shit about you? And if they watch you 
choking your own damn blood and in the middle of the street of Blackwater, they just walk away and pretend everything is fine. Why give a shit about those people? I guess because if you do everything for what others will do for you, then you're not going to get very far in life. So you do it for yourself, not for others. Mm. Well, so you get your satisfaction from nice talking to people. Things, like taking care of people if I can and being nice to them. I, right. I don't expect well, you to be nice to me, but I'll be nice to you. Why do you. What do you get out of it, though? What the hell's the point? Well, I just get to talk to you for a little while. Hmm. So you're intrigued in other people's conversation. Did you say intrigued or intruding? Intrigued. Okay, yeah, intrigued for sure. Hmm. I see. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, how conversation. Else would I get to meet you? Because you, you, you're always out and doing things or in here, and I wouldn't get to talk to you otherwise. I mean, I that's think not really interesting. Yeah, that's not true. I usually talk to a lot when I'm not wanted. I told myself when I came to Cisco, I didn't want to go into Cisco or be in a cell. However, God gave me the hardest battle because I'm his toughest warrior. So and I lost that battle because a man just kept egging me on and. He wouldn't listen. I try to be polite. I try to be very nice. But all he did is kept insulting me and Rebecca. So I did something about it. And here we are. Sure, the guy was being a dick. Exactly what she said. Why? When you do something about it, though, why is it got to be hurting people? Well, because they don't understand the magnitude of their actions. So you have to show them pain. And sometimes the best way to punish somebody is through inflicting pain. Right, Rebecca? Yeah, sometimes you have to teach someone a hard lesson. Yeah, hmm. like leaving the cell alone and walking out and taking a different time. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> do you feel punished? Yes. Oh. I feel betrayed, not punished. And punished, betrayed. betrayed. I do feel betrayed. You're supposed to be right, in here with me. Let's talk about how I told you she was But she kind of is with you. It's She's just not. a different wall. She's on the other side of the wall. Yeah, but that's still with you. No. It's, it's, that's like saying close. you're... Remember Actually, I, I think she's probably closer there than she was over there. there. Rebecca, I'm trying to make Benny the greatest sheriff of Rhodes. And if I don't kill that girl... You won't be become the great chef in Rhodes, okay? I told you before, multiple times, she's off limits. Okay, all right. Uh, I understand that. But if I'm riding my horse, and she's riding her horse, and somehow there's a pack of wolves trying to attack the both of us, I'm going to let her die. You don't, you don't have to defend her against wolves, no. Okay, good. What about a bear? No, you don't have to defend her against that, but if you put her deliberately in that situation, I will fuck you up. What if there's a bear attacking the both of us, and I'm not a good shot, and I shoot her instead of the bear? No. Then you've shot her. You've hurt her. Hmm. What if we're both in the same boat, and then it starts sinking, and I know how to swim, but she doesn't? You better wish you die. What? Rebecca, you've quickly become one of my favorite people on the crossing. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> okay, what if we're both on a boat going down a waterfall, and I can get out, but she can't because her ankle is broken? No. You would do your best to get her out of that boat with you. <laughs> I've told you, she's off limits. Crush on her or something? No, see, what you understand is Benny's trying to become the greatest um, sheriff in Rhodes, and I'm trying to become the greatest outlaw the cross has ever seen. He is my mortal enemy and my rival, so oh. we push each other to get stronger, right? Yeah, but why do you need a girl to do that? Because he's in love with Mark, with um, Georgie, and uh, I do believe if I inflict pain on Georgie, I'll make uh, Benny no, be much stronger, because... Now he's you a defender. You just need his heart to be broken, right? You just need her to break his heart. Yeah. Oh, well, see, that's much that. more effective, I think. You know, because so, otherwise that's okay. You always, like, have that's her. okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. What? Wait, 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 wait. Why don't you just try to woo her away from him? Yeah, 
No, no, no. I, I, you yeah. could right? woo her. No, 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 no. That's no, so no, no, smart. No, 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 because I would never do that to Benny. Oh. <gasps> oh. Wait, so you care about Benny? I do. But that I won't tell him that. Really Okay. okay, what about his, like, his horse sword? Does he have, like, a... No, his gun. He really likes the gun. No, it's not It's, like, no. a really pretty gun. I don't know. Okay, don't... yeah, no, you definitely right, have I'll, to I'll convince her to break then. up with Benny, then. Yeah. Oh, hey, Benny. Oh, well, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, just nothing. No. You're talking about your horse, Benny. Yeah. Oh, what about Glory? Oh. Uh, we're gonna send it off Manteca Falls. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's right. Oh, like hell you are. Watch me. Over my dead body. Okay. I mean, if you want to just Don't replace to yourself that. with the horse, that's fine. It's always an option. Listen. You touch Glory or Georgie or anybody else. Benny, are you sure you want to be with Georgie? Are you going to let me finish? Go ahead. Now I don't even know if I want to say it anymore. This is a really beautiful love story. Mm. Benny, you could do better. Come on. <gasps> really? What if they hold hands through the bars? Well, Georgie, yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Really, Georgie? Okay, look at you. Girl. Anybody will be lucky to ha have a woman like that. You take that back. Anybody would be lucky to have you in their life, Benny. That's the part uh, you don't understand. Well, thank you. I appreciate oh, that. Uh, however, if you touch Mr. her Cash, you know or my that. horse or this I gun, I will find you. I don't know if you want to protect a woman that's going to break you your heart. And I will dispense oh, justice on you. Thank you. you should Lawfully. Oh, my God, Benny. Talk to me like that again. Uh, have y'all been there for a while? This feels very uh, yes, for a long while. Benny. Oh, uh, you got it? Do you know it's worse than a gunshot wound? Uh, what? Broken heart. But his broken can never be whole again. Just remember that. I don't know. I think you actually want me at this wall. There is such a thing as animal glue, sir. Yeah, but you can't glue back a broken heart. I'll never recover from it, Benny. Save yourself that trouble and break up with Georgie. Before it happens to you. Uh, no. He is going against my wishes. So I don't want to find you in a bar you or a saloon. Happy, huh? I want you to find you in a saloon or bar just drinking your um, tears of sorrow away. And walk up to you and say, I told you so, Benny. And walk out with a smile on my face from ear to ear. Howdy. Will you two be hand in hand at that point? Just... We can't be together. It's forbidden love. No. What? Oh. He's a lawman. I'm a criminal. You at all? In fact, God, I really strongly dislike you. Oh, star-crossed lovers. Doesn't mean that. He's just saying that to just appear strong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Benny. Destiny will bring us closer than ever. Destiny doesn't exist. We've gone through this. It does actually. I every day. If you're interested. I met you at Rhodes. Like my pa said, you have to test fate to realize it doesn't exist. You don't believe in faith? No. I believe in hard work. Really? Yes, that's that's right. You believe everything happens for a reason? We're trying to bring more people. Only the reason you give it. Wouldn't mind. I guess time will tell. Today's secret is tomorrow's news. What does that mean? That means you might be holding on to a secret right now. But tomorrow we'll find out what it is. And tomorrow could be tomorrow. Not really tomorrow, but the future tomorrow. Uh -oh. The next tomorrow. Oh, wait, like Tuesday or, or Wednesday? I don't know. It could be tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow could mean tomorrow. So He's just an expression, man, for the future. Yeah. Well, why does he keep saying tomorrow then? Well, it's just a term, man. Because yeah, tomorrow is tomorrow? But you're implying that you're going to find a secret of mine out tomorrow. Well, you might spill the secret. 
or you might share the secret with us or it might come out from somebody else who knows it's only a matter of time and is it really a secret if more than two people know about it well, honestly it's not a secret if more than one person knows about it yeah that's true so um listen to what i'm telling you right now find georgie break up with her and find somebody else trust me you'll be better what off. did you say about georgie huh what <laughs> leave georgie out of it i am okay good You should really listen to Miss Lang out there. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not like I have a choice. <laughs> Just remember, if you do, I will find you. And I will disp dispense justice legally. Benny, if I have George kidnapped somewhere, you'll be the first person I telegram. Legally, Charles. Legally. I don't care legally or not about this. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not going to spoil it. You'll find out. It's too soon, Benny. It's too soon. Uh, well, you can't do that. Well, you can't just start saying something and then say, oh, I'm I had an it. evil plan. But I thought about it. I don't think I'll do it. Well, well, okay, look, all, all good villains reveal their plan at the very end and have a super long monologue before they're slain down by the hero, so oh, okay. just save it for them. Yeah, you're right. My plan was to kidnap Georgie, bring her to a remote, remote location. Wait, I, I said save it. Hold on. I was going to do this plan, but Rebecca stopped me from doing it, so it's too late now. I was going to kidnap her somewhere, bring her out somewhere in the woods, tie her up to a tree. Telegram you, tell you to show up. You show up. I got my revolver next to my hip. I challenge you to a duel. If you win, not only do you save Georgie, but you also kill me. And then you, both of you get on the horse and ride to the sunset. Live happily after. Ch Charles, I, I don't want to kill you. Well, you say that. Benny, but you're a lawman, and I'm out. You know, I'm an outlaw. So sometimes we'll come across a path to where your revolver will be aimed toward me, and vice versa. And somebody's gonna pull the trigger. I mean, it happened not once, but twice now, right? If that's the way it has to go down, then. No, still. Thank you so much for the host and the raid. I appreciate the lot. Guess I'm aiming for your trigger finger. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I believe I should be out now. Um, it's pretty close to time. Let me go check. Benny, hold on to whatever's precious to you. Because you might lose it one day. You can't do that. You can't tell me to, to go break up or, or whatever, or something that wasn't a date, and then go tell me to you hold said it was on a to date. something that was precious. You said we're spending time together off duty. You're sending mixed signals to me here, Charles. Good. I want you to be confused. Because you have to make that call in your head. I'm supposed to throw misdirection everywhere so you don't know which direction I'm taking. That's the whole point of being a villain. <sighs> okay. You've got me there. Benny, if you love the girl, you let her go. Not today. Okay, well, Benny, I prefer to be a real villain to a false hero. Yo, still, thank you so much for the raid and the host. I really appreciate it a lot, man. I hope you had an amazing stream. Thank you. Been loving playing um, Krim with you, man. It's been a lot of fun. God damn it. How did I get myself in the cell? Why do people just... Why do 
of people when they see the gun point in their face, they just 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 gotta like push my buttons. Why can people just not get lippy when there's a gun pointing at them? Why? Wait, is that Mr. Stark? Is that Mr. Stark? Give me just a second. I'm gonna see if there was any uh, things we're supposed to give back to you. Uh, pickaxe. Right. Benny's got it. Benny's got it. All right, perfect. Let me uh, let me go get that. And we'll get you get you handled, okay? Yeah, no, I I enjoy interaction with the love, but I don't wanna um, I don't wanna be doing you know like when you come to Cisco, it should be like a cooldown period, like a day or two, you know, like at least at least 24 hours. Of not doing a crime. I think that's um, like an etiquette, an RP etiquette that you should probably try to embrace. So you're not going to Siska, coming out of Siska. You're not going to Siska, coming out of Siska. You, you, you don't want that to be a thing that happens often, right? I, that is like, I, I try to make sure there's some sort of pacing. I know sometimes that chat watches are like, oh, all you do is crime back to back to back to back. Sure. It's not wrong. I can be released by my local guards. We're hunting uh, the same person every single day. I don't think we hunted the same person every day. I, that's why I dropped the whole saffron rip thing. Is I don't want to do that anymore. Excuse me, can we let out of here? Ha <laughs> ha! You're stuck in here with me. Hey, um, I got the I got the I got the local deputies and let me out. All right, y'all take care. The door's open. Bye. Well, well, well. Ah, see? Destiny again. It took me right here where you came to me. Now I want my pickaxe back. Here, Benny. Remember what I said. This is the part where you say I remember. Uh, I remember. Wait, but wait, you said a lot of things. Well, how about the part where the villain is typically um person that the people remember? Saying some random shit to Betty. Where's my horse? Oh shit, I ran over people. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. What's your name, fella? I'm Thomas Stark. I believe you bought some sugar from me the other day. Oh, I did. I saw you in the sheriff's office. Are you a cadet? No, I am a newspaper reporter, and I was shadowing the St. Cross Sheriff's Department. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Um, What are you writing about? I was just shadowing the different things that I saw today and how cadet training was going. Okay. Well, if you're writing a newspaper, I might have an article for you you might want to write about. They'll probably um, grab a lot of people's attention. Mm-hmm. What is that? Well, the New West. A new frontier. A new West. Would you want to come with me to the Telegram office? Uh, I'm probably going to let my head down here pretty soon, so um, I'm just going to go say goodnight to my friend, and I'll probably head out. But uh, okay. I'll be around tomorrow, though. Yeah, I'll be around tomorrow as well. Do you, do you have a telegram number? FA-344. FA-344. Do you want to take mine down? Sure. Go ahead. It is KG-449. KG-449? Yes, sir. And that right. is Thomas Stark. And Mr. you said Stark. yours is right. FA-344. Yeah, fat ass 344 And that's Charles Bynes.
CD, yeah, Charles Devon, that's right. Alright, have a good evening. All I want to do is to mine tonight. <laughs> Rebecca, I'm mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, one apology. You want an apology? How about the apology you owe me? What apology? What did I do? You're threatening one of my best friends. Rebecca. Yeah. What am I to you? Uh, one of my friends' nephew. I knew it. I knew it. Well, why do you spend you know time what? with me? <laughs> why are you here? Because believe it or not, I care about you, stupid ass. Okay, well, if you care about my stupid ass, you care about my stupid ass feelings. Oh, and you don't care about my feelings? I do. I said I'm not touching the girl. But I was saying that in front of Benny to get under his skin because I need him to understand. Go left. I'm going thieves. I need him to understand that what he's doing could potentially okay. get that girl hurt. And if I don't do it, somebody else will. I'd rather someone else do it than someone that I care about. So, what happens if somebody that you don't know attacks her and kills her? What do you do? I'm probably going to attack and kill them. Really? Yeah. She's the only tie in the crossing right now to the Lang Gang days. You still stuck on the dolphin shark comment? She's under my protection. That explains a lot of things. What do you mean? Criminals are sharks. Outlaws are dolphins. How does that not make any sense? She's gone through hell and back, so... Because... What do dolphins represent in the ocean? Just well, I was in a... Kill his fucking horse instead. He seems to care about it. I don't want to do that yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Let it um, let it breathe. The time comes when the stars have lined up, and when I look up and I see the answer from God, I'm gonna strike. I'm gonna lay my head down on thieves. Tomorrow's a new day. Listen, my uncle might try to kill me tomorrow. I hope you have my back. He has be lost his mind. You understand that, right? No, I get that. Be respectful about Sam. He's not gonna kill you. Oh, great. I gotta give a shit about somebody who died. At least pretend. Please. Okay, I'll pretend. No promises. Alright, I'm gonna go to my tent. Good night, Rebecca. Good dreams. Yeah, what an amazing night you're streaming, though. God, how did you stream for 12 hours almost? What the hell, man? God, if you miss anything, anything. Tomorrow's going to be really juicy in GTA because we've got that raid going on at the gallery. we got Jabez coming out of Cisco, and finally the West coming together. Oh, my God, dude. Roleplay after roleplay after roleplay is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this area so much, man. I love this area. I want to say uh, thank you to everybody for all the brand new subs, the resubs, get the subs. Uh, still again, thank you to host from Raider. Really appreciate the lot. Be an amazing stream. Thank you for watching. Are you guys enjoying the CD story? Has it been a lot of fun? I know some of you guys like to watch Leo, and I've been playing that a little bit because I'm, I'm next time we go to Cisco, I'm, I'm gonna put CD on a small cooldown and then um, I'll play some Leo in between. So, chat, I love you guys.
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, man. Hey, let's host Flicker. What does the song like sound like that, man? You know, chat. Love you guys, man. Thank you for watching the stream. Make sure you join Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Yeecap, and Discord. I'll see you there. Good night.